I did. Yeah, you did. I, I, I legit like. Like, I think before we came back in the trash says I hadn't gone out of the house. Like, all Seriously? February, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, because oh, no. it's just scary, dude. That's true. It's like, true. It's like gone, gone. I was like, fuck that. I don't want to get it. <laughs> I'm staying in. Yeah, it's funny because, like, I, I, don't, I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, but, like, the only time I've been out was with these boys before I got, before I got yeah. COVID. So I'm just like, I was, I informed them that I got it. And then I was kind of, like, waiting to see if anyone else got it. No, it was just me. Do you kind of wish that we got it so we had some, like, solidarity? No, uh, no, 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 no. What I wish for was that- I, I wouldn't be offended if you did. No, yeah. I, I, I would have like, uh, to me, to me, I didn't, uh, I didn't wish anyone got it, but I wanted to know where I got it from. No, I, I wanted to confirm- This sounds like you wanted to pass the blame. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why only me? Why only me? <laughs> oh, I kind of got it. He must have got it first. You know, yeah. he's, dirty. he's dirty. He's definitely he's the dirty. blame. He's dirty, but... dirty boy. No, but uh, I introduced these boys to a Wordle I today. To say COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I introduced these boys to COVID. I introduced uh, COVID yep. to the trash station office. <laughs> no, I introduced these boys to Wordle, and uh, somehow we had an entire office uh, now playing Wordle together. Like literally, ten minutes before the stream started, there was us three and like four other staff members just upstairs silently playing Wordle. <laughs> I wonder how long it'll last. This Wordle trend. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, because yeah, like, when did it? When did it start? Because I remember, like, I saw I started seeing it like three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, something like that. What What, what is Joe drawn? Oh, oh, I was, I was bored while we were starting, so I drew Connor from my perspective, uh, <laughs> and also gone. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Connor get all the detail and I'm yeah, just dude. a stick figure? Yeah, I because I was like, I'll, I'll draw Connor because I'm kind of bored. <laughs> Connor's I mean, like, I think I got it right. Connor, Connor's what? like art. RTX on good. 4K definition. <laughs> I, do, uh, I do the mid convert. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't, even, you didn't even you didn't even write mitochondria. You just a wrote powerhouse. Powerhouse. Powerhouse of the cell. How do you remember what the power? How do you remember, how do you remember what the mitochondria looks like? Because it's the powerhouse. It kind of just looks like that. 
Because uh, you know the mitochondria is a large. That could area. be mitochondria. That uh, could be. Uh, I thought you. I thought you drew like a brain or something. Oh, it's the mitochondria. It's the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> you drew a cat scan. It's, it's, yeah. the it's the powerhouse of the cell. It's the powerhouse of the cell. Well, how, do, how do you rate my drawing, Bob? Very good. Yeah. I'd say accurate. That's yeah, right. I think I got your hair. You got my drip. That. You got my head drip down. Yeah, I got. I got yeah. the. I got the jumper down. Why did yeah. you give him Gigok anime's own hair? Yeah, it's That's yeah. It like Connor's hair is kind of difficult. Um, he doesn't have a lot. Patchy. He, he doesn't have a lot to work with. So. Oh, 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 I'm already oh, dead, Jerry. Oh, oh, I'm already dead. I'm just kidding. God, I didn't think I'd go. I'd like witness fucking murder and trash taste right here. What? <laughs> what are we? Uh, the curry won't finish me off. The, these uh, these, these words. words well. <laughs> All right, I'll get rid of that. Yeah, for once, uh, for the first time, I didn't order salad. And uh, my <gasps> food came after your guys' food. Wow. Well, or the Thai food. That's why, yeah, that's why we were late, guys. Uh, we, we should have actually Gaunt. started at 6.30, but Gant's like, oh, I just need to go Thai food, you know? <laughs> Gant made this podcast wait. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? We're on time. We're on time like we always do. Yeah, we are. We're we on time like we always had a do. Wordle session longer. <laughs> 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 I wanted my extra Wordle session. Yo, bro, 1v1 me in Wordle, man. That's all I'm saying. We need a Wordle tournament on. Let's no items, final destination. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is that relevant to Wordle? <laughs> we emotes only. Emotes only? You can only spell the words in emotes. You just like go through the keyboard. Venus. I'm Venus. <laughs> I don't want one of them to just be like, Cho. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently they banned naughty words. Ooh, well, that's not fun, is it? Well, like, I'm, I'm assuming they would never put a naughty word as, like, the word of the day anyway. Penis. <laughs> Dude, if they put penis as the word of the day, I would... I think that's, what, that's the day everyone gets My 10-year-old yeah. body would be like, yeah. This <laughs> like, joining the Pen15 Club? Yeah, I remember those days. Oh my God. Oops. <laughs> do you, so, like, do you guys have, like, a optimized route of playing Wordle. Gone. I, I started playing it like two hours ago, man. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just typing <laughs> what's, it. What's the first word? We haven't word? played enough to start thinking what's, about min maxing okay, okay. Wordle. What's the first word you put down? Do you put down the same word Earth. every time? I put, Earth. I put a lamer. Lamer? Yeah. Why, why lamer? Why lamer? I don't know. It just felt right. I put Earth because E, A, R, and T are all common letters. And then H is just the bonus. I, <laughs> so I was like crane. Yeah, crane is good too. But Crane's I mean, good. I, I, I do crane sometimes. Oh, Daisy, Daisy Kiki, thank you for the 20 subs. Well, you know, oh, I, for I wasn't competitively playing Wordle. That wasn't like... <laughs> until about 30 minutes well, ago. <laughs> until, we, until we all like, we all loaded up the same word and we're like, guys, come on. Three guesses, come on. Add to you, add to you. Oh my God, that's big brain. That's big brain. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I guess all those are good. Come on, guys, you're not a real JoJo fan unless you start off with stand. Stand off? Which, <laughs> which, I'm, sorry. Stand. I'm sorry, stand is a six letter word in my head. <laughs> yeah. I was like, stand off. Oh, I, I, I wish we could put stand That means we get another vowel out of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I, I swear, every like, third sentence Gant has said today has included the word wordle. It's just like, we'll be like, we'll forget about it. We'll stop talking. Gant will be like, so wordle actually yeah, is. Yeah. And it's like, what, Gant? Why are you obsessed with wordle? Like I'm trying, I'm just trying to keep my mind off uh, Final Fantasy 14. Okay, that's 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 it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I'll, so, I'll, I'll so be honest. Like, why why am I streaming right now when I could be playing Final I'm Fantasy starting, 14? I'm starting like heroin addict talking about yeah. their chastity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, starting like, heroin what? to get my mind off crack. <laughs> 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 Same thing, right? Have we missed any subs? Like, I. Uh, I've, yeah, when's the when's the Apex Giga stream coming out? When you promised it's happening. Yeah, when do you want to do it? Uh, I'm going to be doing, so I guess we're announcing this now, but me and Joey are going to be doing our Jump King race, race. which uh, Joey like literally fucking dragged me into. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I'm not doing this on my own. You could not pay me money to do this Yeah, I remember I was like, Jump King sounds like a dumb idea. And yeah. like, Jump King sounds like fun. It is fun, it is fun. If you're a masochist. <laughs> you'll have a lot of fun. I'm not a masochist. Chat's very excited for this. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to have a race. Uh, like time limit to see who can get the furthest because I don't think. So our sprint boys, marathon. Yeah, I don't. I don't think any of us are going to finish it. I'll, I'll, I'll join in. Do you, Do you have any advice for jumping virgins, Connor? Fry? There's a thing I'll, called a spacebar. You know, <laughs> I'm going to use a controller. I'm saying that I'm not using spacebar. Really? I yeah. think that I don't. I didn't use a controller. I use spacebar. Like, I. I Oh, you said he's gonna use controller. I'm using controller because I need to. I, I like. I need ball, to like yeah. sit back if I'm playing jumping. If I'm like sitting sitting forward like this, then. I'm yeah, I thought about that. <coughs> I was like, 
I need to it's be easy to lean back. I need to be Maybe as fall. relaxed as possible playing yeah. jump king. That's, I want to be. I don't want to be like this. Yeah. If you don't want to, are you allowed to look up like a speed run before? Are you allowed to do that? I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't, gonna, I don't think that's gonna help. gonna help. It's like, dude, I can speed helps. run Super Mario 64 because I've seen like six <laughs> yeah. speed runs now of it. Yeah. No, I'm no, basically it's a pro. It's actually different because like pathing actually helps a lot. Also, D uh, Daisy Kiki with a 50 oh, subs. Oh, shit. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, thank Pathing you. and Jump King helps a lot, I think. You can you can save yourself a lot of trouble by just picking a good route. Right. So mm -hmm. you could save a lot of jumps that you don't need to do by just doing certain. There's also cheese jumps. There's some jumps that allow you to, like, skip jumps. Okay. If you know that they exist. Yeah. So uh, I would recommend looking it up. There's some is that, can we utilize that in the early stages of the game? Though? Yeah, yeah, all okay. stages. In. The first game is really forgiving. There's a, and there's, a, there's even a checkpoint section. That's good. There's a point where if you get to it, it is you have to actually throw extremely hard to, to fall further. Mm. Right. Like there's actually like a hard stop right. in you falling any further. So yeah. if you get to that point, I, you have a good chance of doing it. If you can get to okay. there, you can, you can beat it. Okay. So basically, your advice is just to uh, just cheat. Jump. Just, just cheat just and cheat. Uh, watch, watch the pros just, do it. Just <laughs> cheat. Uh, I'd say just jump. That's, just jump. You know, it's like learning. That's what, should, that's what the game should just be called. Just, no, just jump. You, just you're going to become a jump king. Like you have to learn the timing. You get it. Like muscle memory. You'll be able to do it in your sleep. Like right. Boop, 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 How long did it take boop. you to finish the first game, the base game again? Um, like so, eight hours or something? So in one stream I did it in eight. But I did like two previous sessions, like months or months apart though. Right. Um, so like the first one I did like six months ago. And then I right. tried again and then I didn't really try properly. And then the other time after I was like, I'm doing it. Mm. I am curious. Has anyone actually played Jump King to the end in chat. Yeah, we uh, have. Because, because, like, my first not, question not is... Not on stream. Yeah, not on stream, right? Yeah. If, if you have played it by yourself, not on stream, I am so curious... Oh, sky days, to, I'm so curious to hear if you actually think it's fun. <laughs> There's a lot of yeses. <laughs> it's a fun game, right? Like, to those who have played it, it's fun, right? Well, I'm sure it is fun to some people. Just, like, some people find, you know, BDSM fun. Like... <laughs> what is it? Where, where is this comparison going? Where, where did is that, it, where where did that comparison come from? Because at this point, it's just like a fetish. It's like of hurting yourself. That's, no, that's, that's yeah. all it is. That, it's, those yeah. games are like that. I, yeah, so some people like empty MTRs. Yeah, so that's exactly. just dunking, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, same thing. Some Carry people on. like getting hurt. Let me find out some. I want to find out how many people who bought it on Steam. Some Peter. people took yeah. the emotional damage meme and was just like, "Yeah, yeah. that's me." <laughs> that is Hell just, yeah, that is just jumping. Hell, yeah. they were like licking their lips watching. Because I like, like, I wonder how big would like these kind of games have gotten without streamers, you know? Because like, I can't Probably imagine like Probably not a lot. Yeah, I'd I say it's like low like Dark Souls, but like the thing, the thing about Dark Souls is that I feel like. There's more mechanics to games like Dark Souls, like Sifu, mm. like like all those mechanically challenging games. With Jump King, you are literally just pressing uh, one button and pressing one directional button. You want to know the percentage of people who have beaten the game who own it on Steam? 9.3%. And uh, the <laughs> DLC, yeah. the uh, first one, um, New Babe Plus, right. the second DLC, not right. the hardest one. Only 2.2% of people have beaten it. And Out the, of how many people we downloaded it? Uh, Do we know the, down, the download numbers? I, I think there's another website you can find it. This is a percentage. Right, 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 right. Uh, and people who have beaten Ghost of the Babe is 1%. Great. Right, great. That's <laughs> so, beautiful. Thank you. So, that's... Um, yeah, so, that's in other hard. words, I'm not going to have a good time. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Th that's exactly why I wanted to get going in on this. Because at least if I'm failing, I can laugh at someone else who is also failing. Right, that's that's exactly why I wanted to do this race because the reason why I didn't want to do it on my own is because yeah. if I fail, I have nothing. <laughs> there is just void. There is just empty void. It's just like incredible, like Mr. Incredibles meme. That's, that's that's all that's gonna be I left. Connor is the one percent. I am in the one percent. Yeah. He's just weird. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Man. It's fun. Yeah. You'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy it. I, I think I will. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've always wanted to do like race. Are you, are you of, like, better game. than? Then are you in the top ten percent of human beings? I think you are. I think you both are. <laughs> that's uh, sure. That's a that's a weird. Statistic. I don't know if I want to be. <laughs> is, is, it, is this how we're ranking humans right now? Yeah, like by yeah, yeah. by ha if they're able to be jump king? Yeah, I think I think top we should. Top ten humans of all time. I think we should. Like yeah, I think we should. This is how we should rank people. Not because I've done it, but because <laughs> because I like it. <laughs>
But uh, yeah, you're how far are you in like pogo stick now? Pogo stock. Pogo stock. Pogo stick is the thing. Yeah, eighty five percent. I okay. put thirty, no, oh, twenty something hours into it. Oh, that is like ratios you hear in like JRPGs. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> like thirty hours in, you're eighty five percent through the game. Like <laughs> it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Thirty hours through the game. That's yeah. Just, yeah. That's just. A real Fair like that, that's just, that's just a full gameplay. Do you want to know? I what finished, like, I finished oh, 13, 13 Sentinels before you finish. <laughs> <laughs> you want to you want to know what the speed run is of that game? It's under three minutes. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my it's, god! It's, it's, it's yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. Like some people just like get off the game like that. <laughs> they do because otherwise there is no there is no human that could potentially <laughs> withstand that. Yeah, I, I use Jump King to calm down Pogo stuff. <laughs> 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 it, it's way it's way nice you'll see what i mean you'll see what, I mean. what are you gonna do after you finish pogo stuff then like are you are you like once you've done that there's just like nothing left because right? everything is I'm, just like calm I'm he's like figured. i have to go hard no, so <laughs> pogo stuck two is like days ago with another 50 yeah. oh my god Daisy. Thank pogo you. stuck two is like even harder uh, i think it, if po pogo stuck one took ludwig 70 hours i think and pogo mm -hmm. stuck two took him 140. Even after having a 70 hours in the initial game. And um, I also, I'm probably going to do Babe of the Ascension with Ghost King, which is a fan made, fan made DLC, which like the devs were like, yeah, this is legit. And uh, it's incredibly difficult, even harder than uh, Ghost of the Babe. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, you, you, that can, you can pay me to do that. See, like, I, I very rarely put like 70 to 100 hours in a game, <laughs> period, yes. that I enjoy. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Ludwig's a machine, right, man. Right. Ludwig's built different. You know, no, you know, most most gameplay flu gameplay. Like I, I play for like 30 hours, yeah. 30, 40 hours. We finish mm. the game. Don't really do the end game. If I really want to do the end game, or I'm playing like a Persona or a JRPG, mm. then it goes up to the 70 and 100. Hour. Yeah, and yeah. even at 100 hours, that's like that's a lot. That's you know? commitment. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, with my my very messy jump king speed run, I was in the top 500. My twelve minute, oh, okay. twelve minute run. Okay. Is my PB. Nice. How, how many attempts did you do? Um, I think I've done two hundred attempts, but that's like that includes like failing the first jump, restarting immediately. And this man doesn't like speed running. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks because like I can feel that I can get like a a seven minute, eight minute run. Yeah. But that's the that's the thing that sucks about speed running, right? You just got to combine it all. Yeah. It's suff it's suffering. Yeah. But aside from oh, that, that oh, you topped one thousand. Sorry. Oh. Huh? No, no, no. I know top 1,000, sorry. No, oh, okay, top 1,000, sorry. Okay. But yeah, aside from that, uh, should we talk about what we're going to be doing today, boys? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be doing, uh, so you guys enjoyed our uh, Who Wants to Be a Fifth Grader quiz so much, as well as the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. We were like, you know what? Let's do it again. Let's do another <laughs> fucking quiz. Uh, yeah. But this time we're going to do a world history quiz. Yay. Because yes. uh, all three of us suck dick at history. So this is going to be great. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah. Appar apparently, like uh, we've, uh, well, some people have had to look at some of the questions. And apparently, they, they are some of them. Apparently, are pretty it's difficult. like stupidly hard. So <laughs> this is uh, going to be the I'll... jump king of world history. Yay. I'm, I'm so sad. They they read out a, an example question. This one was far too hard, and I knew the fucking answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really weird, obs right, really you... weird, obscure history. Uh, okay, so Ashley, do you want to tell us what that question was, so Connor can flex on the one yeah. question that he missed? It's it's still in the quiz. Are we doing it's it? Oh, we're up. still doing it. We can. 
What's well, the point? Can I get the bonus well, point? What's, what's the point? Because Wait. Well, I remember what the answer yeah. is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I'll just give you all one point for that then. Okay. Well, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. no. 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 <laughs> can I have can I have a free point from the start? Yeah, you, you'll have to get this correct. The game hasn't even started and he's taken an L. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah. Just take it out of the quiz. I'll take yeah, it. Just, just replace the question I, I, with another I, I question. Did. Surely yeah. I get a free point. From Make up a question. I'll take the free <laughs> point. I think I should get a free point. Okay, I'll, I'll read out the question. Uh, okay, read out the question. Uh, which eccentric World War II veteran are the following quotes attributed to? Uh... Any officer who goes into action without his sword is improperly dressed. Uh, and people are less likely to shoot at you if you smile at them. Uh, obviously, the answer is Captain Jack. Yeah, right? it's Captain yeah. Jack. I, I knew that. Oh, I knew that. Right. <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp. <laughs> obviously. I, I, and I was just like, oh, yeah, I know this. <laughs> no, it was really awkward. Yeah. Is, is, isn't that a Doctor Who character? Captain Jack? Is, isn't that a Borderlands yeah. character? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Technically, he was a lieutenant. Then. Lol, what? How does he know this? I, I don't know. Just watched some videos. They came up. I was like, this guy's kind of fucking. No, this is why you have to be like, because I'm big brain. That's yeah, why. Yeah. I'm the top one percent of human I, I, beings. Yeah, yeah. Top one, sorry, top one percent. Because I beat because I beat Chunky. How minutes. many word World War Two veterans do you know then? Not many. I mean, I know. I feel like I, I know. know. I feel like I know more than average about like history stuff. So we'll see if that's true today. Yeah. I feel like I, I love history. I love learning about history. I, so. I mean, I'm definitely going to suck at this because I dropped history as soon as I was able to. Oh, I fucking love history. See, no, it's it's really so weird cool. for me because, like, my interest in history increases the further back you go, right? So you like ancient history? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I prefer, like, modern the past 500 years history. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I, I like... I, I don't know what's weird about me, but, like, World War One, World War Two, that kind of era, I find really fucking boring mm. and stuff. And, you know, you go back to, like, med the medieval era, I'm like, eh, whatever. I think, I think if I had to yeah. choose... Oh, it's because yeah. it's fake. All right, there we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and, then, and then you go back to, like, ancient Rome, ancient Greece, yeah. like, the, like, the Mesopotamians. Like, yeah. I, I find that yeah. period of history, like, really interesting. Yeah, I don't I, know. I think, if I, had, I think if I had to choose as well... Tell I me would. you're a fake fan without <laughs> telling me you're a fake fan. That's literally what Gant just did. I, I, think, I think if I had to choose, yeah, I would choose ancient history over modern history. You know, the ancient Greek period, with all of the, uh, the architecture and all the... Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> fuck. But before that... Yeah, yeah, before add, that... Add time. Add time. Add time. We Shadow man here. I love how our ad time is us eating. This yeah. is amazing. It's, it's great. How do we do this? This is such big Why is it eating? Ads. Because yeah. this stream is sponsored by Kasori. Kasori. Why are we clapping? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody clap for the air and, fryer. And, and then everyone clap for the air fry. Honestly, now that I own an air fry, it fucking slaps. It does, no, yeah. yeah. We don't have any talking points. Do we have any talking <laughs> points? Do we make up the talking points? All right, all right, all right. All right, let me, let me, let me. Well, in the meantime, let me show off these wings. Time, well, Gantz, in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a little about Kasori. You tell already me. know our sponsor, Kasori, the number one air fryer on Amazon with over 1,000 five star reviews. Damn. This week, we're having whatever is in the recipe made by whoever made it, apparently. <laughs> and that's it. That's the script. I know, I know. It's I know, Maylene's I know. wings. <laughs> I, read, I read the script. Curry wings. Verbatim. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Why'd you say that? Why'd you say that so for. <laughs> You couldn't have said Fried that more chicken. facetiously. What? Thank you very much. He's got a curry pound. Wait, wow, what an asshole. <laughs> he like helped you out. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dad. I was trying to read the thing. I lost my bearings. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be facetious. I was just I was just taken aback by the amazing quality of the Kasori Empire. Truly, I was baffled. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My personal opinion is that it's super easy to use and great for those who don't like cooking. That's it is. Me. As someone who can't cook and owns one, it is very easy to use and it's great for people who can't cook. <laughs> That's not very affable of you, Connor. <laughs> oh, God. You know what is affable? The prices at Kasori. They just can't be beaten. Oh, These things are amazing. And they, again, they have over 1,000 five-star reviews. If that isn't affable, I don't know what That is, is pretty affable. Uh, what an affable air fryer. Oh, my Lord. So what was it again? Truly, <laughs> truly affable chicken. Wait, is it wings? Yeah, have, you, have, you have you finished the talking points? They're just nuggets, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you finished, want to finish the talking points? We got, we got, before we you got chow curry, down? We got curry uh -huh. chicken okay, nuggies. Yeah, curry okay. chicken nuggies with, what was it? Green onion and cheese? All right. Yeah. Cheese? Cheese. Uh, and also, don't forget to use the command uh, air to check out these products. The command air? Yeah. 
Do you have any other products that you have to show off? No? You have to show that off? I, I don't hmm. know. Uh, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, like, I, I actually like, having an air fryer is fucking great. And uh, I remember my mom, after seeing this on Trash Taste, wanted one. Mm -hmm. And so I got her a Kasori air fryer. Uh, and she won't stop using it now. <laughs> she, oh. <laughs> That's pretty good. <clears throat> it is, it is really good. Oh, now you can stop this. <laughs> mm. Mainly coming back with the amazing seasoning. Very mm. delicious, very delicious. Add over, right? Oh, okay, okay, oh. no, okay. We've also, oh. but wait, there's more. We've got the Gasori air purifier. Air purifier, yeah, purifier. Right? Yeah, air purifier. Yeah. that's uh, it. <laughs> Lavoit is uh, Kasori's sister company. Mm. And not only do they make the number one air fryer on Amazon, but they also have the number one air purifier. I actually Odds are, if you own a purifier, you might be having this one in your mm. home. I actually have this in my office, and it's oh. great. It's, I, really, it's really quiet I for use an it, air purifier. I, I use it in my office, too. Yeah, it's really quiet for an air purifier. Oh. I hated using air purifiers in my office because they always just, like, like yeah, really yeah, yeah, loud. Yeah. Like, this one's, you can't hear it at all. I, I leave it on during streams, and no one can hear it. So it's great. That's the most authentic I'll get. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Joey here. Just like to mention that the Lavoie air purifier is perfect for gamers. If you're dropping frames with all that dust in your PC, Lavoie's got you covered. Lavoie that air purify is not a uh, air purifier. <laughs> 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 air purifier. Air purifier. What if it purifies and fries? Kasori, can you make an air purifier that also purifies? It that's, also, that's like uh, the posh air fryer, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can also connect it to the the V-Sync app for convenient smart features instead of voice control to refresh your space without leaving your seat. Mm. Mm. I just like cheese. What cool. That? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Did you guys put cheese on this as well? Yeah, yeah. like a little bit. It's got a bone. No, it's, uh, it's, it's boneless chicken. That, that looks, that looks it's like it's got a bone. bone. It's this is a bone, bro. Is it? That looks like a bone. Oh, that's skin. That's skin. Oh, skin. skin. That's skin. Jebated. <laughs> you got jebated, dude. Oh my God. Cool. Yeah, honestly, like air air fryers are like perfect when you have people over. Sorry, <clears throat> sorry, Rob. Sorry, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have any napkins? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I'm we like a baby. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, well, we have some. All right, oh. there we go. The problem with doing a kasori ad is that we just shut up for like a minute while we just like just chow down on these yeah, just delicious ASMR. chickens. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Yeah, it is really good. You can eat that, Jay? I'll no, go for it. What I'm were we talking, talking what, what, what were we talking about before? Joking, but fuck, okay, I guess I... Well, oh no, I'll, oh, no, I'll, no, I'll, no. I guess I will. I, uh, <laughs> what, what were we talking about before in terms of world history? Oh yeah. So yeah, for some reason I like <sighs> way much more enjoy ancient history than I do um, other periods. Or like the further back you mm. go, the more interested I am in history. Yeah. And it's not because of fate, okay? It's not because of fate. <laughs> it's not because of fate, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I just find it more interesting because it's like so far, like it's so long ago that it doesn't seem real in, in some ways. Yeah, yeah. Or it's like, they didn't they didn't build the pyramids. That's, <laughs> like, not, a, that's, not, a, that's not a thing. What do you mean there was no COVID back then? Yeah, there's no, yeah. That's, what? that's not real. What? Yeah, like people it, died from influenza. Just get good. Yeah, like <laughs> it like blows my mind. For example, that I think like the the ancient Egyptian civilization was as old to the Romans as like the Romans are to us. Yeah, and that like that like that like like blows my mind. I'm just like I can't like conceptualize that. Oh, oh, did you change, change the lights? Yeah, in? the lights went on the right one. So oh, no. I don't know. And also, it's the, it's the best part of fate history as well. <laughs> <laughs> we, Tell me how you really feel. We, 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 we all know. We, God, God is literally like. Blah, 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 blah. But fate. But fate, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the Gilgamesh period. Who who doesn't love the Gilgamesh period? He had, had Ishtar as well. Come on, come on. You're going to. Only say. the best characters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, how confident are you guys in the world history quiz? Not at all, man. Like, honestly, like, dude. Do you think someone who couldn't do the big fat quiz of the year, which only happened a year ago, <laughs> is going to do well with anything older than that? <laughs> I, think, I think it'd be all right. It, okay, because like, I, I feel, beca because, you know, the staff was uh, <laughs> rambling on about how this quiz is apparently like stupidly hard in a lot of ways. Yeah. So I'm just imagining the worst. I, I'll be happy if I can get one. Honestly, I'm trying to like think <clears throat> back to uh, that the it history, fucking... the history of everything video, right? <laughs> if it's not on that, I probably don't yeah, know. Yeah. It, if I'm being honest, do you like, remember the entirety of that video? No, I remember I... like 
a, like chunks of it, which I I didn't know prior to watching the video. Yeah. So I was like, I pray that some of those words will pop up somewhere. <laughs> and then I can just kind of like, okay, <laughs> let's see if I can piece it together. I mean, if Captain Jack is going to be the fucking example question, yeah. I'm screwed. Like, like when, when, when the question was, which World War II veteran? Okay, you've already lost yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you've already lost me. I've never heard of those two words <laughs> put together. Shall we uh, start the quiz? Sure. Can I oh, let's a take a quick toilet break yeah, while I we clean everything up. Oh my God, that, that chicken was amazing. I have four pieces, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna, my cholesterol's gonna overload. I'm actually pretty full from dinner as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm full from dinner as well. I was super full, but it was so good. It was just that good. <laughs> trash Taste Awards when? I wonder how long is it till how long is how long is it till the next Trash Taste Awards? Uh, what episode are we on? Like three, three months Six ago? just three months came away? out, I think. Fuck. Eighty six just came out, so Shit, so it's gonna be in months. May? Yeah, it was in May last year. Yeah. It'll be it'll it'll be around the two year mark for Trash right. Taste. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy that we're almost like two years yeah, in this right. space. What, what the fuck, guys? What Scary. the fuck? I'm excited for how the awards are going to be this time. I'm excited. The award award? I can't award. imagine, like, I, <clears throat> I'm trying to think back of, like, noteworthy moments, and I forget that even even some moments that count happened in the old studio. Yeah. Which feels like three years ago now. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's scary. Yeah. Isn't it? Maybe six reference. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. Connor loves 86. I know he does. Yeah. Well, he can't stop talking and making 86 references. I <laughs> love 86. <laughs> I also love Fishy Holy Hat. Holy shit. Fishy Hat, thank you, thank you very much, Fishy Hat, Hat, for the 20 gift subs. Isn't that weird that 100 episodes is two years? It's a lot of content. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, that's 200 hours plus of just us talking. Yeah. That's too Ooh. much. That's too, too much, much talking. That's too that's much. One and that, that's not even like streams. Yeah. yeah. Shit. That's not including streams <laughs> and specials. All right. Christ. Welcome back, oh, gamers. Man. How good is your world history knowledge? Well, you're about to find out because you, you can play along it's as well. Non-existent. No <laughs> cheating. No cheating. No Google. No Google. Oh, I see you. I see you. Right, but yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not going to be yeah. able to see the chat. So feel free to play along at home. Yeah. Does Joey have the only eraser? No. I got a. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go on then. Oh, it's on the table? There's one on the table, yeah. Where? Where Gant, like in front Gant, where your hand is. Oh, you mean the pen with the eraser, sorry. I, thought, I, we, I swear we have like, I swear we had three of the big ones. Yeah, where, where and we've where slowly we lost one. Wait, wait, what did this one? Oh, oh Jesus sorry. Christ. Kobe, Kobe. Got it. All right, so, um, so, so Ash Ashley, before we start, do you want to explain if you've gone through any like method in choosing these questions? Are you going by year or is it just like completely random? Uh, the quiz is ordered by year generally. By era, time period. sorry, so yeah. Time from like ancient history up until the medieval period, and then okay. like you know, okay. history. And how, um, many, how many questions do we have? Well, uh, excluding the one that uh, I just read out in chat like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mi questions. minus one, we get all 1.4. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Are we not we replacing that question with something else? I don't have anything else. Okay, shit. I'll, I, <laughs> all right. I mean, if we've got time, I'll dig up something. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see how it goes. <coughs> um, we've got 22 questions then. 22 questions, okay. Yeah. I'll be happy if, uh, I mean, I, I was going to say I'll be happy if I get one. I already have one, so I'll be happy if I get two. No, where's <laughs> my one? Yeah, we all got one. Why we all got one. Why do you guys get one for doing nothing? Well, the quiz didn't start yet. The quiz didn't start. There is, I don't think you realize there's literally no difference. <laughs> we could all be at zero. <laughs> I should get the one for getting it. God, we, we're not, we haven't even started the quiz yet, Connor. We, we have not even started the quiz yet. We were fighting for points before we've even started the quiz. I already know what's going to happen. And <laughs> this is hindsight, me being smart, arguing for points. Why are you rubbing out my one point? No, it, no they're no. rubbing out all the points. All right, just let's just start. <laughs> let's Question one. Let's play <laughs> world history quiz. <laughs> this is like salt speed run. Yeah. Normally, at least, uh, normally yeah. we have at least one question <laughs> before we have like a, <laughs> so, we have, we have a salty moment. <laughs> I ju I'm just saying. All right, go on. All right, Ashley, what is the first question? Right, first question's about firsts. Who was the first European to set foot in North America? Oh. It's, I know it's not who. I know it's not the it obvious is. answer. <laughs> Is it? I don't. I mean, obviously, there's that person. Yeah. But, um, oh, I, I should. I I should know this one. 
Yeah, there's one person on like among the three of you I'm counting to know this question. The first person, the first European person to land in North America. Who was the first European to set foot in North America? <sighs> to set foot in North America. Joe Rogan? <laughs> 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 um, do I write the obvious answer? Am I debating myself or? I don't. I, I would recommend you write the correct answer, but. Yeah, th thank you very much for that, Ashley. <laughs> thank you very much for that. No, cause like, I know it's not the obvious one. I know it's not. Right, but like, I can't, I literally can't think of anyone else. So that's my next best guess. I, I feel like, cause I, I, kn I know it's like a famous person, I think. Really? <laughs> no, cause it's, it's uh, like- It was well, John Stevens. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't. I don't think <coughs> this is right. I don't think this is right. I don't know what it is. Um, I know it's not what I've put, but I'm just gonna have to put it because it's. Yeah. It's you know it might be a debate. So. Yeah, exactly. I, it, I, might, it might be a trick question. I know it's incorrect though. Yeah. But fuck it. All right. All right. This. This. I mean, I, I don't think it's right. No, sorry. I know it's wrong. Marco Polo. Uh, That's the no. other one I was thinking of. No. <laughs> I know it's not Christopher Columbus. I just yeah. No, it's uh, Leif Erikson. That's it! The oh, Finland saga! Oh. I fucking knew that! I knew that! Oh, the so Viking, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. His, what was his name? Leif, Leif Erikson. Erikson. Leif Erikson. No. Leif Erikson. Never heard of that. He's before. like the most yeah. famous Viking, right? Uh, like every he, every American yeah. knows this because yeah. like Sydney yeah. would not shut up about this when I was watching <laughs> Vinland Saga. She's like, oh, they put Leif Erikson in. That's the first person to discover America. Oh, yeah, because really? It, do, doesn't America have Leif Erikson Day? Like as a as a thing, I don't know. Yeah, I, Christopher I, Columbus Day. I don't like know why Leif yeah, Erikson yeah, yeah. Day yeah. sounds like a thing. I, I feel like I've heard of it somewhere. It is. It, it is. is a thing, right? It yeah. is. I, I can't remember where it is, but I, he. I, I assume it's America. He found North America like about yeah. half for millennia before. Okay. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Okay. I so what is okay? Why does Chris Columbus always get like always get the credit? Like, how did that happen? Isn't uh, it because Leif Erikson like landed in North America and was like, eh, and then just went back? <laughs> Like he didn't like because yeah I feel I, every I country is like that now. yeah because like it, even in uh, uh, I mean I'm not gonna say because it might be a question but like Australia is kind of the same thing there's like the yeah. guy who founded Australia but he wasn't the first one on Australia I, I, yeah. I feel like it's because like he was the first like Chris Columbus was the first person to like try like the clip he was he, he was Chris Columbus was the world's first speed runner right we're gonna we're gonna clip through America to get yeah. to India <laughs> no, no. he was like he tried to attempt the, he's the first person to attempt the India clip and he accidentally found America you know <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the world's first who's the world's first speed runner <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Columbus was, he was, wait, didn't he not even get to America he yeah, no, he, no, no, he tried to find a way he, to- Yeah, he, to yeah, yeah. India. But he didn't, he also didn't find America, right? He found something else. He found he, something, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. it was, but- Like, it's a load, <laughs> it's all a load of shit, basically. Yeah. And but that, but that's one. why the Native Americans were called Indians back then, right? Because yeah, he yeah. legitimately thought it was India when he landed. And then he was like, oh wait. Is that really it? It's <laughs> not India. There's so much bullshit around all of this. I'm pretty I, sure I, that's I, why. I don't know what's <laughs> Guys, it's the India clip. <laughs> that's what we're calling this. God just wants to make this about speed running. I do. I He's do. desperately <laughs> trying. <laughs> the man, that man tried to go for a gold split and he just, it, it just killed his run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right. Anyway, we all what got zero What a pioneer! That. What a pioneer! Yeah. God, if that if these were the easy ones, fuck man. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> this was the first question. Not gonna lie, that was supposed to be the easy one because oh I figured you guys would know. Oh god! Why would that be the easy? Why one? would that be the easiest one? Because well, Vinland Saga. I mean, you I know Leif Erikson and not fucking Captain Jack. So the Leif, bro, I don't, I, I, I remember two names from uh, Vinland Saga, and I'm not even sure I remember them correctly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna remember the rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's All go right. question two then. Right, question two. Question two. How long was the longest year in human history? I'm going to give you four options. Pick the what? correct one. A, 366 days. B, 425 days. C, 445 days. Or D, 666 days. You expected, oh, us, this to get, is... you expected us to get this without multiple choice? <laughs> what the uh, fuck? <laughs> Where? How does know, that make sense? What's, what's I I know roughly why that makes sense. I just don't know which one it is. Why does that roughly make sense? The more I think about yeah, it, why does it roughly make because sense? Because it's probably before like the Gregorian calendar, right? He talked about how long is the longest day. 
Longest year. Oh, longest year. Okay, yeah. okay. Why oh, would the longest day I'm be sorry, 366 sorry, days okay, longer? Okay. <laughs> but like, what's your definition of a year? I believe, I believe the answer to the longest day would be the eclipse from Berserk. <laughs> 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 is it the eclipse? Uh, uh, this is going to be a bit of a hint, but it's a calendar year. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, what yeah, I figured. Yeah. It was okay, like before now, the, now, now that makes yeah, sense. Before the Gregorian calendar, it wasn't 365 days. I, is which other day is it? I don't fucking what know. What are the options again? Yeah. A. 366 days, B, 425 days, C, 445 days, or D, 666 days. Well, Didn't you spinning a roulette wheel in my head. Yep. All right, I'll just go for this. Yes, I said 666. There's no point thinking about it, Connor. Just fucking write an answer. I don't, fuck, I don't fucking know. I'm just, I'm just throwing a dart. All right. All right, I said 445. I've said C. What was C? C 445. was 445. All right. I put uh, 425. Well, the answer is 445. Yeah! yeah! I knew that. I, I knew get, that. I, okay, so what is the, I, the context behind this? Right, it, it was in 40, it's, it's the year 46 BC. It's nicknamed the year of confusion. This year had two extra leap months inserted by Julius Caesar to make his newly formed Julian calendar match up with the seasonal year. So oh that was God. that was the only reason. Oh Wait, what are the mind. what are the? This months? is gonna be the new year of confusion, right? How? Yes. <laughs> what do they like, call it? What do they call the months? I would love to know the name well, of this new month. July is oh. named after Julius, yeah. right? And yeah. is it August as well? Augustus. Augustus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After Augustus. Yeah. Yeah. Julius Augustus. So it's July and August is yeah. named after Julius. Caesar. What are the two months he added? These are the easiest yeah. ones. No, These, are the easy Wait, did, the <laughs> These are the easy questions. These are the easy questions. How did they add the extra like? <laughs> Uh, 60 odd days. He was like, I decree <laughs> 60 plus days for me. <laughs> Literally, he, he was like, This is my birth month. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's Julius Caesar. He Gun, did a lot, Gun, he did, Gun, he did a looks, lot of questionable Gun shit. Gun looks so discouraged. I'm, I'm, I'm really discouraged. If these are like the easy questions, yeah, I, fe I, I feel me, bro. <laughs> and, and like, uh, the second one was just a guess, you yeah. know? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I did a quick Google search. I have no idea what the new name what the or it must be Ju July and August. No, no, because that's the original twelve. He added two more months oh. to extend it. July two. I want to know what he called. Yeah. Two. yeah. What, if <laughs> oh, no. July's so good, why didn't he? <laughs> where's July two? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if July's so good, where's July two? <laughs> <laughs> right. no, I have no idea. Okay. I Great. Oh, that's good. Yeah. If the person who made the question doesn't know, then we're all fucked up. <laughs> all right. Question three. All right. Question three. Uh, where on earth? Would you have found the biggest Chad in the world? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? In, uh, I would say in this office, but you know. <laughs> where's, that, where's the Giga Chad guy from? The original? Oh, okay. I think I know what you meant by that. Yeah, I'll, I'll repeat okay. the question. Where on earth would you have found the biggest Chad in the world? Do you want the continent? What are you looking for here? Uh, continent, country. Mm -hmm. no. I know what. Uh, it's a continent. I know. Oh. Is it the obvious one? I, 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 I think I just gave it away. But like. No, because I was thinking of the same thing, but I, I don't know what that's got to do with ancient I'm, history. I'm gonna go for it. I'm, go, I'm gonna go for something else. Okay. I mean, it's a one in seven chance if it's a continent. <laughs> Can I go first then? Yeah, sure. You, wait, wait, sure. wait, 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 wait. So, can, can, you, can you say that again? Can question? You, yeah, the question. Where on earth would you have found the biggest Chad in the world? The biggest Chad in the world? I don't think it's the, the internet is forever in the world. Well, this is question <laughs> three. We're still on like ancient. Oh, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm trying to think back. So like, I t I've just chosen. This is like, I, cause, cause like, I, I don't know what you mean by where, right? Like, just name a continent. It's a continent, right? Yeah. Okay. So you have a one in seven chance. I don't think that's it, though. I don't think that's it. Because we're on ancient history. So what would that have to do with ancient history? Which is I don't what? know. The, uh, my answer doesn't really make sense with what you said, but it's the only way that it would make sense to me. I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll get an explanation. Yeah, I guess we'll get As, okay, so can I, ask, can I ask another question? Um, What's so, the answer? <laughs> <laughs> so, so in terms of these questions, are, are we like, are, are like the year these questions are set? Do they like, are they like increasing, or is it just like the general era stays the same? I, I think you did the. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, the only reason the uh, the Leif Erikson question was first is just because I wanted to put the first European as the first. 
the price. Okay, okay. So okay. I don't yeah. think you should be too hung up on like the. Yeah. Uh, just like just like generally we're moving from ancient history. I'm just to trying like to figure out how is this a history? Question? Wouldn't this be a geography question? Uh, what do you? Like, if it's where in the world, I, that I, would be I, geography. I don't, I don't know what he means by Chad. So I, don't I, know. I think I know what he means by Chad, and I think it's a trick question. It is a bit of a trick question. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to be really awkward if I don't get this right. Obviously, the answer is uh, Canada, because that's where Nickelback is from. And at least his <laughs> name is Chad. Chad Kroger, the really greatest not? Chad of yeah, all time. All right, well, can I go first? Yeah. 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 I put Africa. Okay. I, 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 put Af I, I did put Africa, but I think it's something to do with ancient, ancient Okay, history. yeah, because the of country. the country. Yeah, right? the country. But Chad means lake. Uh. So I think it's Europe, isn't it? The answer is Africa. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Do you mean- So it was the country? Uh, was it the country or was it because okay. Chad is called Chad because there's a massive lake in the middle yeah. of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you let me give you the the full answer. the The lake is called Lake Mega Chad. <laughs> no, no, that it is, is not. no, it's not. No, it's and not. Joey's no, right. Not. Joey's right. Chad means lake. Yeah. Um, I thought the biggest, got it wrong. I, th I thought the biggest lake in the world was Europe. No, no, no. Um, I'm talking about like sometime before like 5000 BC. It, it measured oh, around fuck. like. Oh, fuck. And, the, and it was called the Mega Chat. The Mega Chat. It was called Me the Mega, mega Chat. <laughs> uh, it measured I think around. Of the country. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, it's I not, thought that was the obvious. Yeah, answer. because I was like, it's not Africa. Yeah. Because I'm just like that. that he's yeah. not talking about the country. The country but it turns right? out yeah. the country. If you put the country by chance, then yeah. you would have got the answer anyway. No, so. but um, I also thought you would have been like. Oh, it's, it's Genghis Khan from Asia. <laughs> and it's like, one. Yeah, but, but, I thought, I thought. Because like, you're such a chat. In my head, yeah. I was like, isn't, doesn't Europe have the biggest lake? Uh, well, mm. the mega I mean, chat I guess Mega Chad yeah. is mega the biggest chat. lake. You can't, really, you can't really trump Mega Chad. You can't argue with the Mega Chad. You can't argue with Mega Chad. We're chat. going for a swim, honey, in the Mega Chad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's shrunk a lot, like, since it was at its largest. Like, it used to right, measure around, so, like. So the Mega Chad is not the biggest chat in the world anymore, right? I say, where on earth would you have found in the past 10 years? Would you have found? found. Okay. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. It used to measure around like 1,350 square kilometers. Fucking hell. That's a big No, 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 no. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's today. That's uh, today. Before, it used to measure around 400,000 square kilometers. Wow. <laughs> just span, like, what a, what a chat. Part the what? super chat. The super chat. I like chat. this history quiz so far. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, I, I like all the questions, all the points you've got right. It's been through chance. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, Garth? Don't touch shit. What are you on about? That was no. I knew the answer. Right. As a point of comparison, your favorite Dead Sea is only 605 square kilometers. My favorite Dead Sea. Is it? Wait, wait. I, 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 I don't know one Dead Sea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know one Dead Sea. <laughs> If the Dead Sea was so great, where's Dead Sea 2? Let's go. All right, should we do the next one? Mega chat. All right. Yep. All right, fucking Thank mega, the mega uh, Well, at least now we know that there is a thing in history called the <laughs> Mega Chad. <laughs> and, we will, da, 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 da. and we will never forget <laughs> that for the rest of our lives. <laughs> How's that not being memed? I, don't know. I have no idea. Well, oh, now, now we, now we will. Even. Now we will. Ten facts you don't know about, about Mega, Mega Chad. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. That's so funny. Country was named after the lake, by the way. Yeah, yeah I knew that. Really? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, oh, I knew. I, I knew Chad know was named after the lake. Then why did you just? Why did you say Africa still? Because I was like, because I thought it was a trick question. I like, thought it was. I, I thought it was. I thought oh, it was a trick question as well. God. I thought it was a trick question. Bruh, All right. Anyway, bruh, bruh, question four. Bruh. Let's see how long this where every, it's where every baki, it's where every baki character comes from. They just, <laughs> they, they, they just emerge from the, the the lake. They exclusively drink out of the mega <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't wait for the chapter in Baki where they fly to Africa and drink out of the mega <laughs> chat. <laughs> Son, drink out of this lake you if you want to regain. Future out of the mega chat. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a good swim in the mega chat, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, next question. All right, next question. Uh, moving forward a bit, quite a bit in history. Okay. Uh, the St. Scholastica Day riot, it, it took place on 10th February 1355. Yeah. Wait, say, say that again. The St. Scholastica Day riot. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, it took I place know that. On 10th February 1355. Yep. It started when two students from Oxford University complained about the quality of wine served at a tavern. Right? The question right. is how many people died? Oxford was around since the war. Yeah. Dude, yeah, Jesus Christ. That's why the roads are so shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, Oxford University was around for that long. Fucking hell. Oxford University's been around for really How many people died? How many people do you want an exact them? number or do you want like an estimate? Uh, I'll give you four <laughs> options. Pick and choose. Yeah, please. I would have said zero. A, six. Oh, okay. B, 30. 
C63 on the 90. It uh, see because in my head I was like, I I thought it'd be like at least three or four digits, because you know if it's notable enough to be talked about in history. But it must yeah. be notable because it's stupid, right? Yeah. I'm, like most English. Events. Okay. In that case, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say six. So I'm, I'm still hung up in the fucking mega chat. How many people died in the mega chat? <laughs> do, do you know why it's not the biggest lake in the world anymore? Because Hanma Yudrio drank it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's just the chat. <laughs> right, well, I guess I'll say D. Ninety B. I'll say B. Uh, mine's A. All right. The answer is. 93. Yes! Uh, around 30 townsfolk and 63 members of the university. <laughs> what? What yeah. the fuck was this Over some right? wine? What? Over some wine? Yeah, over the quality of wine at a tavern. <laughs> That's the most <laughs> British thing to fight over. Yep, students quarrel with the tavern. Is this Carlsberg over my dead body? <laughs> <laughs> It lasted three days with armed gangs coming in from the countryside three to days? assist the townspeople. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, if they'd have been serving Mega Chad, none of this would have happened. None of this would have happened. Did this wine come from the Mega Chad? No! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh, no. I, I know we're laughing at like 93 people dying, but like, what? What? The absolute state. I'm not even surprised, but that, that's British history. Yeah. It's British history. We have such weird is history. That, is that your British history question? <laughs> I haven't even gotten to that yet. Oh my it's God. just that one question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the other British history questions. Oh my God. So like, oh God. How many beans and toasts were stabbed in the war of beans <laughs> and toast? All right, go on there. Next question. <laughs> right, question five. Fuck me. How long was the Hundred Years' War? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you four options again, just to yeah, make this easier I know it's you. not a hundred. I, I know it's not a hundred. A, well, a hundred. Yeah. B, 108. C, 116, or D, 124. I know this. Fuck. I, I, know, I, I know, know it's not a hundred. Well, I, I, well I, I, yeah, yeah. Agree. I think like, we can all agree it's not a hundred. It's not a hundred. Um, Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I, I know it's not. Yeah. It's called the Hundred Year War because it lasted for more than a hundred years. That's that's what I know about the Hundred yeah. Year War. Who was, who was fighting There's a silent greater than before. The war. War. King, yeah, King Edward the second. British versus good tasting I just said, food. I just said a lot random. of people fought in this war. Yeah. I mean, it went on for a hundred years. That's like, what, six generations back then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was this I the one know. that William the Conqueror <laughs> ended this war? Uh, I can I can give you some facts that have nothing to do with, uh, well, not nothing to do with the answer, but um, Henry V fought, Joan of Arc fought. Oh, uh, fade, fade, fade. Okay, Joan of Arc, right. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're right, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. You, you yeah, are correct on that. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I've, I've chose my one out of three chance. Yeah, yeah. Wait, can, you, can, I, can I get the... Uh, there's four options. options? There's, there's no use thinking about it. <laughs> uh, four options, 100, 108, 116, and 124. I don't know. I... All right, let's do I, it. I can't even be mad if I get it wrong. I said B. I said B, too. I said B, Oh, we all said B. Yeah. Uh, the answer is C, 100. No! That was my other choice. <laughs> yeah, that was my yeah, other yeah, choice. Yeah, obviously, obviously, yeah, that was my yeah, other yeah, choice. That was, that was one of my other two choices. <laughs> this must have been like damage control after the war. Like, so it wasn't that bad. It's only 100 years. Yeah, only 100 we prepared yeah. for the 16 years. <laughs> the 16, years 16 years was preparation time for, well, for the, the actual. The quality of wine during this war must have been fucking awful <laughs> if they were fine for that one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Would have been over real quick yeah. if, there was, if there was some Echo Falls. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been real quick. It been real quick. Some Jacob's Creek. <laughs> 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 Dude, they had some good grapes. It would have been yeah. over with. Oh, all right. Shit. Well, that, right. I appreciate the uh, multiple options. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That yeah. isn't going to be an ongoing theme, I believe, if I'm uh, correct. I hope not. Um, I, I counted before the stream. We've got seven questions that multiple choice. Okay, okay. So all seven, right. seven chances for points. Seven, right, seven, seven chances chance for points. Chance yeah. All right. Yeah. Next one. Right. Next question. Why would you return from a medieval pilgrimage with a vagina? <laughs> what? Because you want, because he felt like it. Like, <laughs> what? Uh, with a what? With a vagina. Why would you return from a medieval pilgrimage with a vagina? <laughs> what is a medieval pilgrimage? You know when you go and visit a holy site? Yeah. That's called a pilgrimage. So during the medieval times, you would go, yeah. you would go to like a, a holy place. Is this British shit? Or what is this? Uh, this is just like general European, medi medieval European. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I just, I just. Why would you return with a vagina? Yep. Like a literal vagina, like in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> like he's just like, 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 like a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> like he, are you just like tossing that shit around as you like walk home? Like what? You, you could have technically. <laughs> or is it just like a really fucked up way of like saying something else? Or is it? Or is that? Or is like? Or is it? Oh, I don't fucking know, man. I I don't even know. I just took a guess. I just I just took a guess. Uh -huh. Um. <sighs> <laughs> I don't even begin to start answering this question. Like, like, I don't think like how many how many times has this, has this been put on a medieval no not like a world history quiz? <laughs> I thought we were gonna get quizzed by eras and shit like that. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, I was expecting to answer years. Yeah, yeah. Right, uh, I just guessed something. I yeah. Let's hope I'm right. I try to be as vague as possible so I can try to get a point. Yeah, yeah. Same. <laughs> vague here. point. Vague point. All right, All right, go on. All right, I put torture. Oh, of course. What is oh. it like? They make one. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Oh, well, that's that's a, like, rip it out. I thought, uh, it's awful handwriting. Uh, brought a female animal back, e.g. hen. Like oh, a, like I guess they, they never oh. said a human vision. Yeah, they could have oh, brought okay. like a, you know, like a chicken back. I thought maybe, I went for like a more like a uh, metaphorical thing. It's, it's because you've just been reborn. What? Okay. what the fuck is Because you had like a spiritual <laughs> journey, right? Don't act, don't, like, don't act like his is weird. Yeah, <laughs> you're torture. I don't know. I'm bringing you a new one. Like, what the fuck? All right, what is it, Ashley? Uh, they were sold as souvenirs. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, so they used to sell these like pewter badges, like in the shape of like vaginas and like phalluses and shit. Like you could buy like a vagina riding a horse or like a... That's Finish just a arrow. really weird, vague question. That, that's uh, like the penis festival. They event. they were treated yeah. as magical mementos. Uh, for <laughs> magical magical with, like, mementos. The divine power of shrines. <laughs> I, I've tried. I've tried convincing okay, people. Okay. I, I don't know if I want to ask this question. Were they always human vaginas? Yeah. Oh, that's not cool. They so I wasn't technically wrong. An animal. Bring an animal back. Yeah. No, they were always human vaginas. Yes, we're animals. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Getting real existential on me, Connor. <laughs> Christ. No. You're gonna well, fight this point. You're really, you're really gonna try and I'll fight for this it, point. I'll save it. I'll save it. This, 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 this is gonna I'm be the hill. Saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> I just want to test the room. See, uh, yeah. see how well that might land. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that is, okay. All right. Next question. <laughs> let's, just, let's, let's just say I'm, I'm glad some traditions. Which mean, yeah. 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 in Japan they're still going strong with it. They're like they're chewing the penises up. What, what do you think the, they do at the penis festival? They're like, all right, step forward. Who wants to get the penis chopped off? Put, turn it to a key ring. Use it as a phone strap. Maybe in Hokkaido or something. It'll shrivel up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Like a raisin. <laughs> it's like a shrunken head, but it's just a shrunken dick. <laughs> oh god. Alright, okay. All right. All right. let's move on to the next, next one. Next question. Alright, next question. Uh, Christ. History, history tells us that Napoleon Bonaparte's most upsetting defeat came at Waterloo. However, a more humiliating defeat came from him came for him arguably eight years earlier in 1807. Or a fort numbering in the hundreds. Uh, what did Napoleon lose to? Fuck, what was this game? <laughs> Do you remember the answer? I don't remember the answer. Yeah, this was the, this was one of the questions I, I read to you before the stream. I was like, yeah, whatever. This isn't going to be on the quiz. Um, okay, so for context, when we were like the Captain Jack question. This is a memory question. Yeah, this, <laughs> they, this is a memory question. Literally this morning, Ashley said this out and he said the answer. I don't remember what the fuck it was. Uh... uh <laughs> uh, I knew this one, by the way. Shut yeah, up. of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, which is why you asked Ashley for the answer. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. Know. I, I knew this one. Uh, fuck! What was it again? <laughs> I don't it's gonna suck if I don't. Do you remember? No, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I think it was this. All right, all right, gone. <laughs> was it dogs? <laughs> I think it was rabbits. It was rabbits. Yeah. Oh my god! Yep, it was rabbits. <laughs> it was rabbits. It I was remember rabbits. A, whole, a horde of dogs. <laughs> a horde of dogs. <laughs> oh, thank you, brain. Do you want to explain the history behind that? Do you remember answer? the story? The story was he. I think they. Uh, it was at the end I of think. like. I think it was at the end of like a war between the French and the Russian Empire, and so okay. in celebration, he ordered his chief of staff to collect like a bunch of rabbits for the purpose of a rabbit hunt. Um, numbers are tested to vary from between like hundreds be much to like up to 3,000 rabbits. <laughs> Did you but fuck because, up my points, Navi? Yeah, but because all the rabbits they <laughs> gathered were tame, they all swarmed Napoleon as he emerged and like he couldn't handle it, so he had to flee from uh, flee the scene by carriage. 
That sounds like something that would have happened in Australia. You know, Aust Australians are like yeah. going to wars with animals all the time. Or, yeah. li <laughs> they, do have, they do have rabbit overpopulation. Yeah. I think I have more points than that, maybe. Yeah? No, you have four. So yeah, four. four. Yeah. Con has four. Con has four points. I don't think you have to worry about us catching up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I literally, all of, if I don't get it via a guest, then I'm all getting oh, it. Oh, go on, go on. Do you, wait, have, <laughs> have they forgotten to write your points now? No, I just uh, haven't had oh, a single shit. guest right yet. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> God, I, ha I hate how cocky you get. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose as well. <laughs> I'm probably going to lose. All right. So, so far, Connor is four. I have two, Garner zero. But uh, at this rate, anyone could win. How many, question, how many questions did we? Uh, what? Like six. We, that was question seven. Wow. How many questions do we have? 22. Okay. Yeah, so it's anyone's game. All right. Especially with the multiple th choice ones coming yeah, up. Yeah, like yeah, anyone yeah. Can win here. Yeah, we've still right. got another two thirds of the. All right, go on. Okay. Next question then. Next question. Why would a seventeenth? Uh, why would seventeenth-century Venetians gather every month to see sailors and fishermen meet on a bridge? Can you repeat that again? Why would seventeenth-century Venetians gather every month to see sailors and fishermen? on a bridge what i thought you said venusians and i was like venetians <laughs> i was like what people from venus sorry i yawned before the stream and my tongue cramped and i can't speak <laughs> some tongue reason. cramped like i've never had a tongue cramp in my life i think, I think that's called a stroke <laughs> like, uh, uh, say the question again i'll try why would 17th century venusians gather Venetians. Venetians. Sorry. What is a, am I going to say Venetians? Down? What is a Venetian? I, I'm guessing it's someone, someone from, from Venice. Venice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why would 17th century Venetians gather every month to see sailors and fishermen meet on a bridge? Every month? Every month. <sighs> Didn't know what Venetians was. I forgot. I was not <laughs> to, 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 uh, to meet sailors. To, to meet see sailors and fishermen meet on a bridge. Meet on a bridge. Is that making out? <laughs> I think it's, it's <laughs> to make out. <laughs> I don't know. The birth of Yowie? Is that is that is? Is, is, this, is this what this is leading to? Uh, I can't believe the Venetians invented Yowie. <laughs> uh, um, uh, because fuck, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> it's probably like a weird answer, right? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I just... I think it's surprisingly straightforward, but I don't know. Don't say that now, because now, now, now I'm doubting it. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, it's weird. Yeah, it's okay. weird. This whole quiz is weird. I'm limited. This whole <laughs> quiz is weird. It's like, a, it's like an episode of QI, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, World History QI. I literally can't think of, th this makes the most sense to me, but it's probably not right. Yeah. Okay, sure, I'm ready. All right. Go on, then go on. <laughs> to buy fish. <laughs> yeah, I put, uh, they would sell fish to them. Yeah, I just said to get their hands on the freshest produce, catch, wares, etc. <laughs> 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 to get their hands on the freshest, Trying to cover all the your freshest bases. produce, the freshest, like, yeah. catches. Because, like, if it's sailors, right, then they yeah. probably did, like, trading overseas, right? Yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. to get, like, overseas stuff, like, you know, produce, like, you know, cattle, maybe, whatever. And I mean, we, we basically said the same yeah, thing. I mean, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I was just a little more broad. I was more broad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's the answer? Uh, to see them beat each other up. Oh my god, my first answer was uh, to, to see them perform. <laughs> to see them what? Beat each them other up. Beat each other up. This was a thing called the War of the Fists. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't just put the war off with everything. <laughs> it's called the War of the Fists. It's the result of a long standing rivalry and conflict between the Castellani, uh, which who were the sailors and shipbuilders uh, in the east, and the Nicolotti in the west, uh, who were the fishermen. This dated back to like the 14th century. And like, there was yo, a whole thing like yo, history would come whack. in and place bets on who was going to win. Dude, history sounded crazy. History's whack, dude. History is whack. whack. We lived in a society. <laughs> we do. <laughs> uh, I need to go to the toilet real quick. Okay, all sure. Right, all right. Break. Ad time. All right, uh, ad, ad time. time. Turn on the chat. You want me to run an ad? Or? Quickly. Yeah, run an ad. Why not? Well, where's the mouse? Oh. <laughs> right, turn, turn on the chat so we can yeah. see. Do we have any uh, subs or donations, donos to read out? Uh, let's see. Uh, Dabby Orca with the 10 bucks. Hey boys, very glad to see Gaunt back and, and well and healthy. 
All the best, can I just say? Uh, TT merch revenue should be split 40-30-30 in Connor's favor since he has been pushing TT merch by using nothing but TT merch all the time, <laughs> like a walking TT mascot. <laughs> he just doesn't have drip. That's all. <laughs> it's just his wardrobe. He has one type of drip, which is the trash taste merch. That's it. Uh, Eugene Finer with the 1888. Very specific. Uh, similar to Gone with Michelle Kutense, the fact that Fruits Basket was not nominated for Anime of the Year pisses me off. But you know what? That doesn't matter because at the very least, uh, Wonder Egg Priority didn't win a single award. Let's like, go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Who else is? Uh, Moon Pisser with the $20. <laughs> Moon pisser. Wow. Oh my god. Moon pisser with the twenty dollars. Uh, I can see why you paused there. Yeah. How, <laughs> how to tell you've been watching too much trash taste? The name Gaunt sounds to sound more natural than Grant. Yes. Yes. We're getting there. We're get, like eventually, Gaunt is going to take over from Grant. I'm 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 coming for all you Grants in the world. I'm and coming monkey for on Grants. Twitch with the five dollars. Are you guys planning to have Tomb Hat on the podcast? Uh. uh yeah. If he, sure, if, Japan, if he wants sure. to come to Japan. Yeah. I'm sure he wants to come to Japan. Yeah. He me like every month asking when Japan's open. Uh, and Jorg from America, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Oh. Did, we put ads did, we <laughs> did, did we put ads on? Did we put ads on or did we not? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so how many, uh, how, many, how many have you gotten right so far, chat? Be honest. <laughs> you can be oh. honest. I think the only one I had like the possibility of knowing was Leif Erikson and then it was like, yeah. oh, yeah. and then it's that's the only time I was like, like, oh, I know that one. But like Africa was like a guess, right? You, you got lucky that you got I that one right. I knew it was Chad. It just happened it was the other <laughs> I, But I was very confident. I literally guess. wrote down Africa and I'm just like, nah, it's too obvious. Yeah, yeah. That's too obvious. <laughs> it's something to do with ancient stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> I thought, it, yeah, because I thought it was a trick because like I knew Chad meant lake. Yeah. So when he said, where was the biggest Chad? I was like, oh, you're trying to think uh, you're talking about the country. I just knew Chad. The I know country. it's the lake. Yeah. yeah. Very big brained himself. I big brained himself out of the obvious <laughs> answer. God damn it. <laughs> you can be a guest on Chad. No. <sighs> I'm just glad to know that there was once a mega Chad. There is in yeah. our hearts. <laughs> There's always a mega chat. I like the spin off to Mega Mind. Yeah. <laughs> he evolves from the Mega Mind. Every the time he's on the screen, he just goes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Welcome back to the quiz. Uh, I'm in the league right now. And uh, Gaunt is just. Uh, Gaunt's playing Uno. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fine for my life. <laughs> Gaunt's not it's, even it's playing like, the it's, same it's like the, playing Wordle. The, 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 per, the <laughs> person who gets the least points, right? Yeah, it's like golf rules. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was your handicap again? I'm a. Oh, I'm a I'm a five under par right now. It's uh, a. <laughs> will, will the next question help you? Will that, will that help that's you? like that's like beyond an albatross. <laughs> that's like, like, like an do, aeroplane. Do you, think, do, you, do you think you can come back into this? I'll be very surprised if I came back into this. You don't think you can get I four points? I think it's very possible for it to just completely flip. Yeah. If, okay, if every if every question was multiple choice, I would be more confident <laughs> because then it, it's it's literally yeah. up to chance. Yeah, then it's anyone's game. Yeah. I, I, um, I'll be honest, none of these questions, multiple choice would have helped me. What no, not at all. Not at all. It would have just- No, 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 it, it would have helped. It would have been In the sense where we, you, like, turn, you turn a one out of like yeah, 10 like billion into one other, out of four. None of the other options have been like, aha, and now I understand the question. Right. It's like, no, I'm fucked. So. Well, because they've just been like numbers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Uh, what right, question are we on? Eight or nine or something? Um, we're on question nine. Okay. Let's go for it. Go for All right, it. Right, let's go. Let's go. Um, what was the mortality rate of the world's deadliest medical operation? Operation? Medical operation. Fuck, I thought you were about to talk about the Spanish influenza. I thought you were about to talk about COVID. <laughs> medical operation. Come on. I mean, about, uh, or like the Black Plague. Yeah. I can yeah, give you like multiple the choices on this, but it's not gonna help. Yeah. So deadliest operation? Medical operation? Deadliest Shit. medical operation. Do you want multiple choice on this? It's not gonna help much. No. Sure, I would like I would like to know what kind of okay. frame we're working with. Uh, 100%, 200%, 300%, or 400%. Oh, uh, uh, what? I thought you meant people had died from an operation. I mean, that's essentially how many people die. 100% like, is one person. Asking, like, like, how do you have a 200% mortality rate? Wait, 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 wait. Medical operation? Yep. I thought like other people were dying because of this operation. I thought that was what you were saying. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, that's what I'm wait, asking. Wait, wait, wait. I don't comprehend the numbers. Okay, yeah. Can you say it again? I understand a hundred percent. I don't. How, how do two hundred percent die? Yeah. From this op. What? What? Am, am I the, Am I going crazy ah. here? Oh, I understand. Okay. Do you understand? I now? understand. Okay, now. someone understands. Chad's got it. Already. I'll, I'll wait, repeat the question. What oh. Was I remember what? fucking seeing a video about this actually. What, what was the mortality rate of the world's deadliest medical operation? I remember. Okay, I think. Oh, I 
think what was the mortality rate of the world's dead? I don't get the how it can be. The medical operation. I, I, I know. I think I know which one you're talking about. I just don't remember. What are the What are the options? 100, 200, 300, 400, right? Yeah. Percent. percent. I remember seeing a video. I remember seeing a YouTube shorts about this. I remember. I don't know. I don't know if that was the deadliest operation in the world, but I do remember a case where those numbers make sense. I'm. S I just don't. Know, I just don't remember which one it was. I'm still wrapping my mind about how you can have a 200 percent rate in operations. It was okay. I think it's this one. No. I think I've got it. I think. I don't know. I'm guessing. Yeah. I I'm think guessing. it's it's. Guess. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm just gonna guess because I, I don't even get a question. Okay, I want to hear the reasoning behind your answer and mine yeah. if we have different ones. Okay, uh, go on, go first. Uh, D. Four hundred percent. Yeah. What did you say? I think two hundred. I said three hundred. I think two hundred because, like, let's say you wanted to transplant a heart to someone and you both died. No, I think, I think this is there was a case. There was one case okay. where it was. I don't again. This might be completely wrong, but I remember I was I saw a YouTube short about this operation that happened where the doctor killed the patient that he was working on and then also accidentally like stabbed a nurse with the same scalpel. And then I don't remember if it was the doctor that died or someone related to the person who died on the operation table that died of a heart attack or something. So I think it was three people. Surely the op I thought the operation meant like not like something that happened in an operating room, but more like an operation procedure. Yeah, so that's why I don't know. That's why I'm just taking a guess. I, just, I don't okay, know if it's about that We're all just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> yeah. If it's 100%, then we're just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what, what, what was the answer? The answer is 300%. Let's go! Is it the one I'm talking about? It is the one you're talking yes! about. Yes! Thank you, YouTube Shorts. The first uh, time I've I can ever clarify, seen that. I can clarify the details. Okay, yeah. this was an amp amputation performed by Robert Liston in the early 19th century. The patient died of gangrene yeah. this is from so the amputation. Shit. Yeah. Uh, his assistant died after Robert Liston accidentally amputated his fingers as well. That's it. Yeah, yeah. And then, a spe and then while he was changing instruments, he accidentally slashed the cloak of a spectator. That spectator thought he got stabbed, so he died of fright. I feel like the... The language right. of that question. He died of fright? Yep. I feel like the language of this what? question should have reflected yeah. more so what you were talking about not, not like a general not operation. I, 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 right? I, I, I yeah. thought like operation. I not, thought like a medical procedure. Yeah, yeah. That's, what I was, that's why that's why I was like, how do you have a more than a one hundred percent mortality like, rate? Mortality rate. Yeah, I swear to God, did you get this question from a YouTube short? No, I got it from Q. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking knew it. This is, this is like such a QI so question. I was angry if it was in fucking I, YouTube shorts. I short. don't know why yeah. I remember seeing that YouTube short. He was known for performing like ridiculously fast like amputations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah that's a minute right. and yeah. a half. Was, was yeah. it like, I would argue that's not a 300% mortality rate. That's that's a guy who fucked up three that's, times. Yeah, that's that's, 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 <laughs> that's entirely different, yeah. I feel like. If, if it was like, what is. I want a phoenix right at this point. Yeah. Want, this is. The, word, the wording of that yeah, question was like so. Vague that I couldn't wrap my head around what it meant. Listen, if I got a point, audience, have I, you I, noticed I, um, every time I'm the only one that gets a question listen, right, these two start bitching? If I got a point, I would say this is a every time. No, no, no. I would say this is a totally fair question. No, I, I would say, but I didn't, so I'm not arguing. <laughs> I would say Joey deserved that point because he actually knew. I knew the details. I knew the details. Yeah. I, I literally just had no idea yeah. what the fuck that. Well, what the fuck is going on? I'm going to give him a point, but I want to deduct a point from Ashley. <laughs> I'm sure. So Ashley, you're on minus one. You're on I'm, minus I'm on minus one. one. I'll take that out. I, 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 I might be eating a baby man here. Who knows? That was bullshit, man. right? We were in oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have helped me at all. First time, nine questions in, finally, I actually feel good about answering a question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, like, normally I'd be more salty, but I yeah. think back and I'm just like, I wouldn't have gotten any of these right yeah. anyway. <laughs> all right. right. Thank you, huh? YouTube Shorts. <laughs> all right, next question. Okay, next question. Who was the origin of the phrase, qu'il mange de la brioche, traditionally translated into English as let them eat cake? Let the what? Let them eat cake. Oh. oh. I'll give you four options. All right. A. Jean Jacques Rousseau. I know this B. One. Shakespeare. C. Marie Antoinette. Or D. Louis the Fourteenth. Ah, uh, I don't know. Fuck. It's I, I. It's between two for me. I know this one. I, I I actually don't know this. <laughs> when you start speaking French, I was like, do 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know. Let them eat cake. I know that. Yeah, phrase. I've heard of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, oh, which one again? was it? Sorry. What were the answers again? A. 
Jean-Jacques Rousseau, B, Shakespeare, C, Marie Antoinette, or D, Louis XIV? Part of me wants to say Shakespeare because Garn got it so fast that I'm like, it must be easy. <laughs> I think it's... <sighs> but I don't think I'm it gonna is. I'm going to be annoyed if it's the other one. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 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 Is, is this literally a fake thing? <laughs> Did could fate be. help you with could this? Be. Could, could be. Could be. Motherfucker. Could <laughs> okay, then that means I might have gone. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Ready? Right. Okay, wait, what did, what did you get? No, what did you get? It's uh, Marie Antoinette. Shit, I said the Louis guy. Oh, I was going to choose between Marie Antoinette or Louis XIV. Uh, the answer is A, Jean-Jacques Rousseau. <laughs> wait, is it not Marie Antoinette? It's I thought it was Marie okay. Antoinette. <laughs> Let me provide the full context. What? Uh, it was believed to be first put to print by the philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau, who wrote in his autobiography. At, la uh, at length, I remember the last result of a great princess. Are you blah, 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 serious? Blah, blah. Yes. We suck. Marie Antoinette uh, likely never actually said the phrase. <laughs> it is attributed is to her. Good. Wait, give me my this phone is, right now. Give me my phone. Like, this is just like King Arthur. He never existed, like, all over again. <laughs> Because I was like, I was like, for sure, I was like, it's either Marie Antoinette or Louis XIV. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, I've never seen a man deflate uh. so <laughs> Now, it's attributed to her. I'll give you that. It's but attributed she to never her, but she didn't say it. She didn't. She wasn't the origin of the phrase. You can go look it up on Google. I would be That's sure. such bullshit. I, okay, now I am actually... <laughs> Yeah. I'm actually fuming. God, God was like, finally, my first point. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. While this phrase is common, commonly attributed to Marie Antoinette, I'm fucking, I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm fucking done. That was just like, that was just, oh. Serves oh, fate fans right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, 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 if you're watching, if you're watching this on YouTube, rewind about 20 seconds ago to Gaunt going, fate. Fate. No, because like I, I, I thought the story behind it was it was like part of what started the French Revolution, right? right? That's what I which, thought as well. Which is like they were starving because they couldn't eat bread, yeah, so yeah, Marie yeah. Antoinette said, "Let, Let them, them eat cake." cake. That's that, that's literally what yeah. I thought it was, and I was like so fucking confident. That's why confident. I was confused whether it was Marie Antoinette or Louis XIV. Yeah, yeah, because nah, yeah. I know they're around the same era. Yeah, right? I know that you said uh, this is Sparta as well in the ancient <laughs> so that was a good story. Did they say tonight we dine in hell as well? Yeah, he also said my name. Name is Maximus Decimus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do remember that yeah, part. I remember yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably all stories. And then were, he kicked were, the hunchback yeah. down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> probably all stories are true. Then life would be a lot better, wouldn't it? Oh <laughs> my fucking hell! Life would be a lot more entertaining. This is like every 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 art every art. If you if you search "Let the meat quit cake," every article is. Did Marie Antoinette really say "Let the meat cake"? <laughs> that is so mean. That's hilarious. Oh, that, that is okay, so Ashley, mean. thank you so much for that. I'm glad that somebody knew it and then they didn't. Know it. That was great. I was like, yes. I was like, I actually know the origin of this phrase. God was like, brilliant. One, one point, please. No, <laughs> no point. For Fuck you now. You will not eat cake. <laughs> I don't even care if I, I lose now. I'm a real winner now. That I got to eat, I got to eat good to Oh, me. fuck got to eat cake, cake. I got to eat, I got to eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> I got to eat cake. Oh my Lord. That was his delicious that meal for the day. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Next question, I guess. Right, next question. I'm not gonna trust any fucking easy answer. The, the, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is right. I thought finally a piece of knowledge that I know and the boys don't know because the, these boys had no, zero fucking clue. Yeah. I at least had like enough knowledge that I got psyched out by the fucking answer. <laughs> Imagine not knowing the answer. Oh. All right. <laughs> next question? Yep. Yes. Right, next question. The US has been at war for 227 years out of the 245 years since its independence. One particular confrontation in 1859 saw it go to war with the UK. How many people died? In do this you guys war? know this? I do not know this. Uh, I don't know the exact people who died. <sighs> do you have a name of the war or? Is it the war that where America declared independence yes. from the UK? No, this was afterwards. This is after that. I think I might know what you're referring to. Wait, did America go to war with England after the war Yeah, of I thought the only time was when they gave the UK the middle finger. I think I... The first time around. Wait, what, what, is, what is the wording again? Can you say it again? Uh, you know the part about the US being at war for a yeah, long time. Right? Yeah. One yeah. particular confrontation in 1859 saw it go to war with the UK. 
How many people die during this war? Is this multiple choice or? No. Uh, no. Great. That means it's weird. <laughs> that knows one. If they have Google. Yeah, they have <laughs> Google. <laughs> Is it uh? No. Uh, I think I know it, but I don't know. I have no idea. I think I, I've talked all, about this to you guys in past. All I all I know is that if there's no multiple choice, it means this, this, is, this doesn't help with the answer. But is this, it, is it the war over an animal? Is it the war of attrition? I I think I know. <laughs> it. Oh. That's the only war I know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm guessing my no. War of attrition was 1812. Okay. That's all I know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm like I'm I'm less trying to guess from my knowledge and just try to psychoanalyze Ashley. Okay, I mean, I'm ready. Should we just do it? Should we just give an answer? Should we just do it? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I think it's a weird number. I said one. I said one. It was either one or zero that yeah, I was gonna put one up. or zero. I think it's zero. <laughs> I put zero the initially. The pig? Is that what it is? It's zero, it's the pig war. Yeah, okay, I thought so. This is the second time I've rubbed out the mm. right answer <laughs> and I'm just like, um, See, I, I'm, I'm guessing thought, myself. I yeah. thought you were going to ask. I my, started, uh, why I wanted to rehear the question. I was yeah. like, is he going to say, I, he said people. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's yeah. zero. But I thought he said deaths. So it's one, which is the pig that died. Yeah, oh, only the pig. That, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you know the story about this? No. Oh, it's kind of like, it goes back to like Canada history as well, really. It's uh, more so Canada than it is the UK, really. Uh, there was like Free a Canada. There was like a boundary dispute in yeah, like the San Juan yeah. Islands over some mm. ambiguous treaty after like the US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and then oversimplified um, did a good video on it. Yeah. I, I, I do have like a, a very simplified version of the story here. Um, an American farmer, Lyman Cutler, moved to San Juan Island, claiming rights to live there under the ambiguous treaty. Yeah. Um, and he shot and killed a pig that was rooting around in his garden. And this pig was owned by an Irishman. Uh, yeah. Charles Griffin, who was employed to run a sheep ranch on the island by the UK. It's a good pig too. Yeah, and, and uh, a disagreement surrounding compensation escalated <laughs> in the war. <laughs> in question. Uh, wow. One likely apocryphal account has Cutler <coughs> saying to Griffin, it was eating my potatoes. And Griffin was, and Griffin replied, it's up to you to keep your potatoes out of my pig. It's gonna be like 10 hours long. narrating the whole war. <laughs> 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 you should watch the oversimplified video, it's really good. Okay. Yeah. I feel like these are all questions which you might have caught in like one random tick TikTok yeah, or YouTube yeah, shorts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's how you're my point. How, how people learn in 2020. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my, my, my brain was just like operating in binary for that question. I was like, it's either one or zero. Yeah, it's like, it was like one or, one or zero. Yeah. And now I'm just like, okay, maybe it's one. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's, it's one. one. Maybe, maybe it's maybe, one. Yeah. Maybe someone got like injured and then like died of yeah. like, natural causes after the war or something. <laughs> or, you know, some bullshit like that. All right, anyway. how many questions are left? Are we halfway? Um, that was question 11. So yeah, we're about halfway. halfway. Okay. 100% yeah. win rate from now on. You got this card. <laughs> I got this. Got this <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing that much better, but. All right, next question. All right, next question is a Thai history question. Well, I'm Ooh. fucked. <laughs> Did you, Why do you have the biggest advantage? Did you learn Thai history at all? No, I didn't. All right. I, don't, I didn't go to Thai school, so. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it is my fault. Okay. okay uh, your question is, fights to the death were made illegal in 2014 for which sport in Thailand? Uh, I'm going to guess. Wait, say that again. Fights to the death were made illegal in 2014 for which sport in Thailand? I'm go I don't know how to spell it. I don't, I, this is oh, or is this too obvious? <laughs> I, I, you know what? I've, I've, I've just learned if it's too obvious, it's probably the one. You know? Really? Uh, I think <coughs> I've, I've all put, we might have all put the same answer. Yeah, we probably have. I don't know how to spell that. I apologize. Muay Thai? Yeah, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's Gamecock fighting. I was going to put chickens. Oh, oh, chicken fighting. <laughs> I was actually, my first thought was chickens, but I was like, there's no way you can make sure they don't die. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, because I remember, like, Philippines. But how does, can you make sure oh. they don't die as well? Um, you, you, you tape up their spurs Muzzles? and like, you know. I was gonna put fucking chickens, fuck! I actually was. I actually was gonna put cockfighting, fuck! A fun fact, it was actually England's national sport for about 150 years. Cockfighting? Cockfighting. Well, yeah. I'm Welsh, so uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's disappointing, right? Okay. I mean, they set up schools to teach this stuff. What the fuck? I, I graduated from cockfighting <laughs> school. <laughs> Man, English being real quiet right now, Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's being real quiet. <laughs> Wow, they only just banned that in 2014. In 2014, so yeah. you can still do it. Yeah, they still no, 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 have I mean, like, the, like to, to the fights. I'm, I'm the thinking death. about it, and I'm just like, yeah, that makes sense in my mind. 
because that doesn't surprise me that it was just outlawed. I just like how we all recently. assumed that people were allowed to kill each other. <laughs> yeah, they're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, was I, well. I was like, God damn. We were just Th like, Thailand before 2014 was just, fucking Because me, I was just like, what is a sport that's famous in Thailand? Yeah. Which was obviously going to be more Thai. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not even going to think about this. I, you you know, know? I like the idea that you could have a civilized duel to the death. I think that's, you know, <laughs> we should bring that back. You know, there should be a... a you know, Death by combat. That's what yeah, trial yeah. by combat. Trial by combat. Yeah. It has a good ring to it. It's yeah. very dramatic. Imagine if the OJ case ended like that. that trial been by combat. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like the glove doesn't fit. Yes. It's <laughs> trial by combat. Smacks the face <laughs> with the glove. <laughs> <laughs> been so exciting. How dare you? <laughs> Imagine how much how much longer the documentary would have been if we had that. Fuck. <laughs> we oh. had the car chase and trial by combat. <laughs> 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 Choose your fighter. Oh I God. choose myself. The glove fits. <laughs> this, this, this. Oh my God. Why did we get rid of duels? <laughs> why did we do that? Why did we? Why I, did we? I, I, I do want to know, actually, why did we get rid of duels? I, yeah. I understand that it probably fell out of fashion at some point, but why? What was the reason? Yeah. Is it because like people just started suing each other and we're just like, well, let's not, let's not die. Can we just replace Twitter beef with duels? I would I would prefer that. Yeah. <laughs> then like, people stop hiding that that chatted shit. Yeah. <laughs> that must look, duel. I'm just saying people have gone way too comfortable with chatting shit online yeah. and not getting Pe shot yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, people want to... Okay. Okay. Wait, are we talking Cowboy duels. Like, I'm talking cowboy duels. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be taken out of context. But <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I, I mean, like you said, you made, that, you made that sound like some straight <laughs> out of content <laughs> shit. Like, <laughs> we're gonna get banned for sh fucking. Like, wow. like, I meant <laughs> fucking cowboy duels, all right? Where you challenge someone to a fucking was, duel I, I to talking, the death. I was talking about like. I was talking about like sword the, yeah. duels. Like, well, come someone, on, someone still fucking dies, and what? What the fuck is the difference? I'm sorry. What is the difference? The gun duels were far less exciting yeah. than like. It was over in an instant. Come on, man. Sword duels, you Sword can be like, duels ooh, 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 ooh. That'll have lost an arm. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> it's but a flesh wound. Yeah. yeah which are you doing? Again, death by duel. Yeah. You done it. Yeah. And you get banished to the shadow realm. Replace Twitter beef with. <laughs> with two Yu Yu duels. <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah. We should. There should be a case. Yeah. Anyway, okay. that, that's new anyway. today. And the has been cancelled now, but anyway. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> next question is a Welsh history question. Ooh, okay. I sense a pattern. Ooh. Australia's coming next. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the question is, Parliament in 1881 passed legislation banning what in Wales? I think I know this one. This is really sad. Oh, God. <laughs> not sheep. It's not sheep. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? How are you guys writing shit? 1881? Mm. Garn's gonna put something yep. making fun of me. <laughs> of course. It's what, the hairline <laughs> Garn? <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't know. Wait, can, you, can you repeat the question? <laughs> what, 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 what do you need repeating? I just want to repeat. In 1881, Parliament passed legislation banning what in Wales? Go ahead first, Garn. Go on. Shagging sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. I mean, mine's close. Incest. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Connor. If I'm not mistaken, I think in 1816 they banned Welsh. Is that right? 1881, not 1881. They banned Welsh? Uh, the answer is... Shagging sheep. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. It's not, it's not shagging sheep. <laughs> it's uh, Sunday drinking. Oh, I thought they banned Welsh. I was going to say AKA beer. shagging sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Incest. I didn't know that. That's probably because it's Christian. I thought because I was going to I was going to say beer, but I don't think that would have worked, right? I thought they banned Welsh in school. I thought that's what Wait, Does that mean to. they haven't banned shagging sheep? <laughs> yeah. Nowhere they've banned shagging sheep. Oh, wait, no, you're not allowed to do bestiality. Yeah. Oh, God, God, God's like, well, I might take I've a trip never, to Wales I've then. Never, I've never seen God that high. Thank God. Banned. It's certainly yeah, banned in my country. Uh, it was repealed in 1911, so, you know, you can drink on Sundays now. I thought it was Welsh because they banned Welsh uh, for a long time. Not like, I don't think government level, but mm. within like learning. Yeah. Oh, right. I thought right. that's what you were referring to, but oh well. No, I, th I think there's still a current debate going on, like whether they should teach Welsh in schools and stuff like that. In the mm. UK currently. Mm. Well, what they they do? They they still do like there's a question like what do they okay, do? Okay, I style feel I feel I could have gotten that if I actually thought about it. No, I couldn't have. Well, because I <laughs> oh, yeah, you it, yeah, it yeah. was probably like something like it's very religious. Christian. Yeah, 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 yeah something religious. All right, yeah. well, what's next? Australian history, I'm guessing. Yeah. Or Japanese history. 
next, I hope the next question is, um, I think you guessed it. It's an Australian okay. history. Okay, Australian history. All right, you, you guys only have 250 years to work with. You're good. All right. All right and most of it is racism. <laughs> 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 what was the nickname of the first Australian currency? I'll give you a clue. It's not dollar <laughs> dues. Is it, it dollar dues? <laughs> it's not dollar dues. I actually don't know this. I'll give you a clue. It has the word dollar in it. <laughs> now you're just making me want to write it now. <laughs> Are you writing it? <laughs> no, I'm not writing. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. Wait, so the, f the f original Australian currency. The first Australian currency. The first Australian currency. This was in like the 1800s, I think. Yeah, 1800s. Mm. <laughs> this might be it. All right, fuck it. I'm ready. All right, go on, go on. <laughs> a a dollar. <laughs> 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 That's what it should be called. <laughs> Boy, Fang has five dollars, eh? I'm surprised it's not shagging sheep or something. <laughs> Why are we not dollar? called it the dollar? How is this not the Australian currency <laughs> right now? Prime Minister, I hope you're watching this. You need to change it to this. What would you put, Jake? I put the dollar pound. I put British dollar. Uh, it was the holy dollar. What? The holy dollar? Why didn't they As in keep like, that? Yeah, the hole, they keep like, that? like it had a hole in it. Oh, no, no, dollar is the dollar. It needs to be dollar. It's the dollar. Yeah, dollar. That's the correct answer. Yo, can, can you guess why they called it the holy dollar? Holy dollar? Like, as in a hole, like a hole in the ground kind of hole. Uh, because we had a lot of mines? No, it's because it, it was a Spanish dollar with the hole punched out of it. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, from now on, it's called, a, it's called a dollar. It's called a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> right, what's the next then? Uh, the <laughs> next is a, just a, we're, we're, we're done with like, country questions. Okay. okay. Uh, for, for you guys. Uh, the next one's in like, um, British. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question is, knocker-ups, also known as knocker-uppers, existed as a profession, profession in Britain and Ireland throughout the revolution. <laughs> Can say that again? Knocker uppers existed as a profession in Britain and Ireland throughout the Industrial Revolution. What was their job? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is not correct, but this is all I can think of. The sheep? <laughs> the, the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if they ban shaggy sheep, the knocker uppers would be out of business. Wanna, you want to see this meme? I'll read out this meme to you. All right. It was the Giga Chad guy behind uh, a Welsh flag. Yeah. And it was like, um, let me, so yeah, picture it, like the Welsh flag. Fuck you, let me find okay, it. Okay, uh, before uh, Connor gets out the meme, is this a job that exists now? No. So it's just, it's not a job that has changed names or anything like that? No. Okay. It's just like phased out because maybe it's been automated. <laughs> So, it's the Giga Chad in front of the Welsh flag, and they said, GF asked me how many sexual partners I've had. I started counting, but fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, oh, fuck me. Okay. Wait, wait. So, okay. I'm, I'm not going to write this, but I will mention it. Uh, so say, it, say it again, then. Knocker-ups, also known as knocker-uppers, existed as a profession in Britain and Ireland throughout the Industrial Revolution. What was their job? Just the Industrial Revolution. Just the Industrial Revolution. Well, maybe, maybe not the Industrial Revolution, but it might have existed before the Industrial Revolution. But it's no longer around. Okay. Uh, I, I honestly have is, no fucking this clue. Is, this is stupid, but it, there's a chance. Do, do, we get, do, we get a, do we get a a fucking, uh, no, a hint at all? No, no, no hint, no hint. Um, knock her up. Uh, knock her up. Knock, knock okay, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the answer that I originally wrote because I hadn't written it down, but I just said it in print. <laughs> it's obviously not that. But it's yeah. not that. So I wrote right. this. Go on. Okay, so I, it sounds dumb, but like imagine it, right? Industrial Revolution, right? Quite a long time ago. It's a guy who knocks on things to make sure they're solid. 
They're like, a, like, I'm, I'm, like knocking I'm, on things like like woods and metals to make sure that it's like, okay, that's a source. I hope that's wrong because it's dumb as fuck. Yeah, um, no, it's dumb as fuck, but it's Industrial Revolution. Anything could go. Well, I thought because, you know, way, way back. I don't know when the elevator was invented, but I think they had elevators that were operated, I don't know. By people? Yeah. There was, there was like hand plates? Yeah. Uh, During the Industrial Revolution? Yeah. When they wanted uh, to move no, shit. This, this, this isn't right. I oh, just, I, an elevator. Yeah, 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 I was about to say. I mean, I, I didn't know what to put. I was like, the only thing I could think of was like door to door salesman at first, but then you said that the uh, job doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just like, oh, fuck it, I don't fucking know. What did you say? I, I, I said, oh, I, was, I wore a door to door salesman, and yeah. then I was just like. I was imagining like a door. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, on yeah, a door. yeah, yeah. Um, and then he said the job doesn't exist anymore. So that kind of like right. fucked over my theory. All so right, what, what is I'm it? Just, yeah, I'm just. It was to wake people up for work. Oh yeah, I remember this. Fuck. Oh. oh okay. Yeah. So they would usually knock on they would go windows with like a long pole. stick. Yeah, yeah. yeah or I they would like shoot Fuck's peas sake. at a window. And God. <laughs> God. So basically, it's just a human alarm clock. Yeah, I fucking remember this. <laughs> yeah. I'm so oh. fucking stupid. That's, I couldn't know. Okay, that's pretty cool actually. I didn't okay. know that. I did not. I did not. Yeah. Know There's that. pictures of like these women with these really long fucking poles. Right. From, like, the period. It's really interesting. Oh, cool. That's a revolution. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy times. Crazy, Crazy times. times, man. All right, next question. Next question. This is a true or false question. Okay. Fuck. God, you have a one out of two chance. One out of two chance. Out two chance. chance. Yeah. True or false, the US federal government once orchestrated a mass poisoning to get people to stop drinking. Turn the frogs gay? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> did, did it turn the frogs gay? Maybe. I'm pretty sure this is what they did in Higurashi, right? <laughs> Cause light, right? <laughs> Bud light. <laughs> yeah, what Wait, do you think Bud light? Say that again? True or false, the US federal government once orchestrated a mass poisoning to get people to stop drinking. Uh, I'm gonna say it. True. <laughs> yeah, I said true. I'm gonna say false. Maybe that was like a rumor? I have no fucking idea. It's true. Great. <laughs> God, you got a point. You I got, got a point. Yay. I mean, now I was just like, Ashley wouldn't put this question unless he was true. I thought it was Otherwise it would just be like the most random non-true fact uh, well, the whole I thought, time. I thought it was one of those things where it's like, there was a rumor that they were going to do it, but they what? didn't actually what do was it. The... No, my, my, my level of knowledge wasn't that deep. So I'm just like. <laughs> so what was the reason? Is it uh, prohibition? This was during prohibition. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I, I thought. I assumed it was during prohibition, but yeah. I just thought it was like a rumor that someone said. They, they added toxic chemicals into like uh, industrial alcohol so they can be used to manufacture booze. Uh, people still drank yeah. it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they got uh, fucked yeah. up. Yeah. In the way of people that yeah. They got alcohol. fucked up on that. 1927, 41 people died on New Year's Day. Damn. A lot of people drank it. Jesus. Yep. All right. Well, Gon goes first point. What are you pointing at, Nabby? He goes first point. Connor oh, okay. goes, Connor's got six. I've got three. Gon's got one. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Well, if I can't even get a 50-50 question right, <laughs> suffice it to say, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, well, what's next then? What's next? Next question is... Mm -hmm. Gong farmers were tasked with collecting human excrement for privies and cesspits throughout Tudor England. Uh, how long was the largest log ever recovered? <laughs> in history? How long was the largest piece of shit ever recovered <laughs> made an in human history? That, right? Uh, what uh, units of measurement are we are we talking? Uh, here? Are we I'll talking give you inches, oh. feet, miles. Like uh, I'll give you multiple choice. Um, yeah, 10, sure. 20, 30, 40 centimeters. A, B, C, and D. One log, one piece of shit. From from what animal? From a human. From, from a human. human. Oh. Yeah. I think I've done forty centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've done forty centimeters width. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like that isn't possible, Cherry. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be here today. <laughs> I am, but with great pain. <laughs> oh, a gong farmer. A gong farmer. A gong farmer. Why, uh, why are they called gong farmers? Uh, gongs were like the old, uh, I it's think, medieval old. English term for like the, the privy. <sighs> okay, I, guess, well. I, I guess they had to make it sound cool somehow, right? Like poo farmer is just a little bit, you know, <laughs> weird. It's like an old English word. I, 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 I read up on this. 10, 20, or 30 or 40 centimeters. Yep. 10 centimeters. Sorry, 10 centimeters is like. 10 centimeters is not that long. Yeah, I've, I've, I've I done do, that. I do 10 centimeters every day. <laughs> like, like, 20, like. 20 is like that. 30 is maybe like that. And like 40 is like that. I just, I don't feel like anything other than 40 is notable. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it has to be 40, but at the same time, I don't want to put it because it feels too obvious. <sighs> I, th I feel like my PB is like over half of this, you know? What's, what's your PB? 
<laughs> one log <laughs> probably like 20 I don't, I, I don't know how much uh, how good that diet was though back yeah. then <laughs> might have just been like fucking splashes. and like you know they say 40 centimeters long but they, it might be like a centimeter like you know half a centimeter wide you know it mm. could be like goldfish poop uh, it was five centimeters wide so it was pretty big oh that's a salt log <laughs> god damn dude all right well should you all just put iron scissors yeah in sure to, to get through it. all right boys all reveal right. your answers 40 20 it's 20 Oh. Oh. Really? I've really done more than 20. 20? See, I'm thinking, like, have I done a 40 centimeter log consistent, no break? Like, that's hard. I think people, I think, like, rape. But, like, in, like, the history, history right? Like, uh, like in no like breaks? No, no breaks. Like, <laughs> no break. like, a clean <laughs> loop? Nah, bro, you haven't done 40. <laughs> let's be honest. I know, let's, let's ask you the people. You probably got, like, 60 in you, but, like, it never comes out. Let's, all let's ask the people that rape my poo. Like yeah, they, but like, probably, but like, probably found something else. I don't, I don't know. I, I was thinking about like, this is like, this, this is, is not just case. one yeah. person. You know, this is not just one person. I'm sure someone in the history, like, so, so maybe someone even in yeah. recent we history. Together, we can achieve. I'm, a wait, wait, wait. I'm can, sure. I'm sure like, some fucking can can can, can we made, did, like, can we Google this? Sure. What is the world record right yeah. now? That's a myth. Your intestines are 26 that long. feet? I researched that. I researched one that, that claimed the woman took like a. I'm sure like some Neanderthal did a 30 feet. centimeter <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. why do they have to be in the end? I don't know. It's just, I'm why? sure I'm sure there's someone in the past five years who did a massive shit that's bigger than that, but they just didn't bother to measure. What, is there any more history around this question or is that it? Um, it's, it was done by a Viking man. Uh, his diet is believed to have consisted mainly of meat and bread. He was also very sick. They found like several hundred parasitic eggs. I think I think he also drank too much water from the Giga Chat as well. Right, so well, that's, that's, that's 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 let's move on from this question. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're eating. Well, well, uh, it was once described as the most exciting piece of extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> to be fair, I think I would also be like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Size that motherfucker. All right, go on. All right. Right, next question. Question 19. Uh, what cinematic gimmick was the centerpiece of the following New York Times review? The review is, the review reads, when this viewer emerged from the theater, he, happ he happily filled his lungs with that lovely fume-laden New York ozone. It has never smelled so good. I'll what? give you four options. So this is like an old movie quiz. Yeah, it's like an old, like this was in like the 1960s, 70s kind yeah. of period. I'll give you four options. Uh, a, Aromarama. B, Smellorama. C, 5DX, or D, Aroma Vision. Say that question again. What cinematic gimmick was the centerpiece of the following New York Times review? When this viewer emerged from the theater, he happily filled his lungs with that lovely fume-laden New York ozone. It never has smelled so good. And say the multiple choice again. Aromarama, Smellorama, 5DX, or Aroma Vision. I think you can guess like what this is about. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's they the they in they included a film where smell was part of the experience. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Just all the names are just dumb as fuck. <laughs> well, this was the seventies. Everything was dumb as fuck. All right, yeah, this yeah, is just this right. is just okay, guess. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go I, with B. I smell said aroma. aroma. Yeah, I said D. Aroma vision. The answer is A. Aroma rama. That was my other choice. I, <laughs> thought, I thought, thought that, that was a, my other choice. Yeah. Well, yes, a, yes. Aroma Armor was a better name than Smell Armor, but I yeah. thought like, nah, they'd go Smell for Armor would is they had a better name. Aroma and Smell of Vision. Oh. Uh, yeah. They were all both seem to the systems of uh, piping smell. Oh, okay. I've seen a joke about this in the future armor. Yeah, yeah, Smell of yeah. Vision is a thing in the future armor. Yeah, yeah, it sure. is, isn't it? Yeah. It is, isn't it? I have a slightly lewd fun fact oh. about this. In 1972, American singer-songwriter Melanie released an album called Garden in the City, which had a scratch and sniff label on the cover that read, rub gently to release the magic of Melanie's garden. I don't know what that- So basically she had a scratch and sniff of her pussy. I don't know whether it was of her pussy or something, but it was a scratch and sniff. Or it said it. Melanie's garden, so I assume it's Melanie's. <laughs> well, they probably didn't like get a fucking one-to-one -one the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, man. The dedication might've been real. Next question. All right, next question. Next question. What are these questions, man? <laughs> Uh, the univer um, the University of Chicago uh, has a has this thing called a scav hunt, scavenger hunt. It's well known for its uh, quirky, strange, and impossible items. I want you to tell me which one of these is not one of the challenges that is on this uh, scavenger hunt. Okay, not one of the challenges. Not one of the challenges. Okay. So three of these are real. Um, well, you'll see. Um, building a nuclear reactor, unboiling an egg, 
getting yourself circumcised and eating your own umbilical cord. Not on me, Chip. Hey, Which yo. One of these is not a challenge. That's in yo, this scavenger hunt. You folks in Chicago are fucking crazy. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I know. Well, what the fuck is I, going on with Chicago? Wait, yeah. say, say the question again. Which one of these is not one of the challenges in the scav in this univers in the University of Chicago? This year? Uh, no, like. Just yeah, in, in all time. time. In all time. Yeah. yeah, in all time. Okay. Building a nuclear reactor, unboiling an egg, getting yourself circumcised, or eating your own umbilical cord? I'm <laughs> going to say this one. Um, I don't know. This is all nonsense <laughs> to me. I'm just, yeah, I'm just. This yeah. is world history. This is okay. world, world buffoonery. Okay. This is like Darwin Awards quiz. This was started, I think this, this scavenger hunt was started in like 1987. It's still carrying on today. Okay, well, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say D. I was, I was like, I'm boiling an egg. I'm going to say getting yourself circumcised. Right, um. I will apologize because this has been a bit of a tr trick question. All of these were challenges that were included that have been have appeared in the scavenger hunt. What? Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, as an aside, the above mentioned challenges have all been achieved. So people have actually. Why done this. would anyone try to go for University of Chicago? Someone circumcised themselves. Someone yep. unboiled someone, an egg. Someone has unboiled an egg. Um, you someone inject their own umbilical cord. <laughs> yep. Uh, he put. He had his mum had saved a piece of his umbilical cord. You put it in a Twinkie and eat it. Okay, okay, I a Twinkie? You put it in a Twinkie and edit. Like, yeah. Okay, I know, I know, like, there are, like, some families that do keep the umbilical cord. And, what? Like, and, like, yeah, my mom kept it. mine. Yeah, well. like, the I mother eats it sometimes. Like, I think one of my mom's friends did <laughs> that as well. It's yeah, like, dry it up like, in, in a velvet pouch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait, how do you unboil an egg? All right, you inject urea into the white of the egg. And then you spin it really fast. This breaks down all the proteins, and then I, I thought unboiling an egg would just be like a standard science experiment. I was like, I, yeah, so why, "Why was that the most yeah. unbelievable?" That, that, I think that was the most <laughs> believable one. No, it's it because it was the most believable uh, one that I put it down. Oh, that it, it was. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, something yeah, that yeah, easy. yeah. I was like, circumcise yourself. Like, I don't. I think that goes against like OHS, right? Uh, like <laughs> get, getting yourself circumcised. So just like go and get yourself circumcised. Oh, I thought you meant circumcising yourself. I mean, you could like, try. Like, I wouldn't recommend right. it. Here, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. I was like, I don't think they would let that happen. Um, I could I, I could read out the few other challenges that have been on the I, list. I'm, um, I'm, I'm fine, okay, dude. Okay. Let's, let's just go to the next question. Okay, next question. University of Chicago, you need to stop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what is going on there? The yeah. absolute state. All yeah. <laughs> uh, right, uh, in 2019, Seamus Blackley, uh, one of the creators of the Xbox, uh, you wrote of a particular loaf of bread he had baked. It's much sweeter and more rich than the sourdough we're used to. It's a big difference. What historical artifact did he use to bake this bread? What? What historical thing did he use when he baked this bread? I'll give you four options. It's the Rosetta choice. Stone. Okay. Um, ancient yeast, the Holy Grail. Uh, oh, fight, 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 Shroud of Turin or extinct banana extract. Or like ancient <laughs> banana extract. Oh. Um. What am I hearing? Um. <laughs> like if he wasn't the if he wasn't if this guy wasn't one of the creators of the Xbox, he'd just be a lunatic. I love I love to I like the idea that the creator of Xbox just has the Holy Grail. <laughs> Darling, pass me the holy grail. I'm gonna make some sick no, bread I, out I of this. I actually lent it to the production of uh, Indiana Jones, and they took <laughs> quite good care of it. What are the options again? Ancient Egyptian yeast, mm -hmm. the Holy Grail, the Shroud of Turin, or ancient what banana extract. What's Turin? the Shroud of Turin? Uh, it's uh, it's the one with with Jesus Christ's face on it. It's why does he? Why does the creator of Xbox have that? I mean, I didn't say he has it. He it sounds like an it. almost sunny episode or something, right? You know? <laughs> the gang tries to make the best bread. <laughs> <laughs> the gang tries to make bread. <laughs> well, I know it's got yeast. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. How do I even... <sighs> all right, I, I've picked my answer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. I said A. Right. Holy Grail. Holy Grail, come on. Holy Grail, Holy Grail. The answer is A. Yay! Ancient Egyptian yeast. The most boring answer. <laughs> he actually used a 4,500 4, year old strain of yeast extracted from ancient Egyptian cooking. Oh, food. I just don't care. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that? Why can't we just have bread? 
this <laughs> man, just dude, does he know there's a thing called a supermarket? Like, the just, lengths people will go to not eat American. Yeah, like rice. rye bread, that's pretty nice as well. Seeded bread. Bruh. You know, I, I get your 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 board of wonder bread, man. But like, <coughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Next question. Yeah, is please. The last question. All right. All right. Just one more. Uh, what club in Burlington? hands out a world champion award annually that specifically denies politicians and other professionals, quote unquote professionals, from receiving it. Sorry, Wait, what, repeat what, that question again? The question? What club in Burlington in the US hands what out a club? world champion award annually that specifically denies politicians and other professionals from receiving it? Quote unquote professionals. What kind of club or just what club in general? Like the name of the club? Um, as long as you get close, I'll give you the point. Because as long as you can how tell many, me what how many club, club names do you know? <laughs> t- is this is this like a nightclub? Uh, <laughs> That's what no. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the Bellagio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I only uh, know one club name, so I'm just gonna go with that. Oh, uh, sorry. This is not the last question. This is the second to last. Okay. Question. One more. Sorry. I'm ready with my answer. Yeah, same. <laughs> what are you right? <sighs> Christ. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call it the asshole club, worst person on earth club. I I, I, I only know one club, the gentleman's club. Oh my god! How did we guess the <laughs> same club? We're on the same wavelength. Oh my god. god! That's probably not right. What is the answer? This is like us using the same brain cell. <laughs> you, we're, we're using like again. we're like half the brain cell each. <laughs> Funnily what? enough, Connor was closest, but uh, he's still wrong. It was the Burlington Liars Club. Oh, I put like, so yeah. So they hand out uh, an award annually for like the world champion liar of that year. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Wait, what I Wait, and politicians assume. aren't involved? Yeah, because they yeah. always lie. That's the joke. Oh. That's, the joke. Oh. That's, what I, that's what I assumed the joke was because he's here quote yeah, unquote well, professionals. Right, right, right. I feel like I'm close enough. Assholes, dickheads, <laughs> worst person. I could give you half a point, but I don't think No, you're point. not going to give him half a point. He's point. already winning. I yeah, he, he, I said I could give him half a point, but he's That's half a point. I'll take half a point. Thanks, Nabby. Nah, I said I could give you. I didn't. Wow. Connor, what do you mean? You're already winning, dude. <laughs> it's about solidifying the lead, Joe. You have solidified the lead. Trust I want, me. I want literally have, zero way I, I could win. So I want, I, I want to get you, Gant. If anything, you've solidified it so much. Even if Gant and I were a team, we'd be losing. This. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right, is there right. one more or is that it? That is. Uh, there is one last question. Go okay. on. This, is, this is the last question. I swear, I'll put you. All right. In 2016, two artists. Uh, John Thompson and Alison Craighead created a perfume that included the, sm- the smells of blood, incense, hail and fire, wormwood, a rod of iron, filthiness of her fornication, among other scents. What is it supposed to smell like? What is the perfume supposed to smell <laughs> that includes what? all these smells? Let's say the ingredients again. What? Blood. It's supposed to smell of blood, incense, hail and fire, Wormwood, a rod of iron, filthiness of her fornication. What do you think this perfume is supposed to smell like? <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, um, uh, this is world history, boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Dude, Sorry. you know Sorry. this thanks, one? Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I almost forgot. This was a scene out of Full Metal Alchemist, right? Yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, this is how Edward lost his arm. I have, yeah. I have uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina. I said childbirth. I just said human. Uh, it's the apocalypse. What? So yeah. So Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina is a point there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who would have caused the apocalypse? Huh? Huh? Uh, who was the real monster all along? Gun- it was man. Guns don't kill humans. <laughs> Gwyneth humans Paltrow's kill vagina humans. does. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I deserve a point for that. No, shut Wait, up. Wait, you got some <laughs> questions, but not the other ones. Sorry, what? Because there was other questions that you said earlier, but you left some of them in. Yeah, um, did. Yeah, I think there was like one or two. You know, mm. I was, how naive I was to think that, you know, one of them, you know, one of them might have been like, who invented the hand job? Or, you know, something, right? <laughs> do, like, do you know that? Yeah, the Romans. Uh, who? <laughs> it was, Which Roman? uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, what's, what's his name? Brutus something? <laughs> it was like Caesar's left hand man because he gave Caesar. A hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about Brutus? Yeah, Brutus, right? That's his name, right? Wasn't it him? It, I know it was like one of Caesar's like right no, on the.